live. Are we live? Yep. All right. Hey, check this out. This is day two of the off-road game. Leading out right here is, is Matt with Leapin' Jeep. My brain's not fast enough to do live. Ed with Finn Wiki. No, I know. Sorry. No, I paused at the wrong spot. <laughs> so we got Ed with Finn Wiki in here. These guys are doing are starting the trail off. Uh, my understanding is you're going to go halfway through and then switch drivers to Chris, who's also from Vinwicky. Oh, there so, we go. All right, there we go. I don't go. think I have enough Dr. Me and Pepper. you are going to be good friends here in a minute. <laughs> all right. So this is, your, this is our trail leader right here. They know all the tricks. <laughs> all right. Following the bleep and creep Jeep crew is the Rudy's Adventure crew with Seth from Burn Peak, mountain bike stuff, Jeep stuff, and I've already said this, uh, I don't know if you guys know, I'm going to be uh, trail mountain bike riding with Seth Monday, you guys are going to see that stuff, we're going to go oh, look, yeah. we're going to do some trail stuff. Hell yeah. Okay, awesome. All right. Um, right behind them, we've got yes. the yes. Mischief yes. Maker crew, yeah. Holly. Hey. Hey, my lovelies. Hey, my love. And then we've got Dan from What's Inside. See how good I am? I only yell to tell me once. Yeah, I remember that. That's all right. This all is right. going to be impressive. Like, this machine, if you just took the machine, you'd be like, this is going to win. But then you factor in the driver, and you're like, this is maybe, this is probably not going to win. So I'll do my best. But. Okay, here's my, ba here's my bad dad joke. I hope we don't find out what's inside this Jeep today. That's good. There we go. People have been like, do not like <laughs> hey, if he cuts a panel off, we got. That's why we got repair in the you back. You got some sort of a barnacle <laughs> stuck on the back of your Jeep here. I'm over here wearing a bike helmet to keep me safe, and these guys are like, I'm just gonna sit on the roll bar. Like there's a, Safety first. There's an inflatable. There's a bike. There's a person. Yeah, one of each. Yeah. 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 More and more valuable. You're a treasure, Robbie. Hey, Matt, we're getting these first out. Cool. Okay, yeah. Yeah, head them out. Head them out. We're, we're just introducing the crew here. All right. In the ever-popular Tangerine. This was a really nice Jeep a couple months ago. A long, long time ago. Yeah. So we have got Marvin with Flex Rocks and Rollovers. Um, I loaned him this Jeep so that he could take so he could take Devin from Legal Eagle and uh, just put it through his face. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I'm just looking for a Starbucks, and I took a wrong turn off the highway, Highway 15. Uh, can I put my order in with you? Go go right ahead. Double half cap, cappuccino, go for it. It's on its way. All right. And then in last place, not really. Last All right. Place. We've got the Rory, Rory with the Trail Mater crew. And he has Laura Farm. Laura from Laura Farms. That's two Laura's. What does what does Laura do? Laura Farms. Laura Farms. So anyway, this is the next one. Okay. This is this is the this is going to be one to watch. Now I'm going to tell you something about this buggy. Um, it's really sad. It's a sad story. Um, this buggy will never work because it wasn't built in conventional ways, and he only spent twelve dollars on it until he painted it. Now it's fifteen dollar buggy. Good luck, guys. Good luck. We're going to need it. All right. Next, this is last. You guys are the last competitor. We're the last one. Yep, we have. <laughs> There's one more. Oh no, there is one more. Second to last. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> See how bad I am at this when I'm live. So here we go. We've got our very own Caitlin with Moore, and she has Kindle from Kindle Gray YouTube. Yep. Does Kindle Gray things all over the place. Real popular channel too. Awesome. Okay. We'll try not to wreck it. But if we do, I'm sorry. Yeah. And then right here, here we go. Last but not least, we have the date uh, Nate from Dirt Lifestyle YouTube channel, and he has been paired up with Scott from Driver 61 from across the pond. And uh, so we got this little joke that we've been doing about the lower 48. Not on purpose, it just accidentally happened. And then I started adding the lower 48 across the pond, and people are losing their minds. All right, just drive around this thing. This is a brand new build. This is like, this is like shakedown. This is shakedown.
shakedown run number, really number one, because they've done a lot of work on it since the last shakedown run. Jamie, drive this. We'll walk up to these. So this first obstacle we're going to be hitting is uh, Twin Peaks, and the it's kind of a two-part obstacle. I call the first part um, Sky Dirt because you see the sky, and then you see the dirt. And this is some of the most extreme. Uh, this is one of the more extreme uh, downhills, like vertical down. Yeah, you're looking live here right now at the off-road game, Sand Hollow here in southern Utah. The weather has started to, well, kind of roll in. It doesn't look like it's raining yet, but weather's been telling us it will be raining until the second that the off-road game finishes, and then probably goes away. Yeah. So right now, they're actually just started going over what they've dubbed Twin Peaks. It's uh, It was named after the 90s TV show. Basically, you see sky, and then you see dirt. So they named it Sky Dirt. Okay. I thought we were talking about Twin Peaks. You're, I thought it was named after your favorite restaurant. <laughs> Definitely not mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, we're hanging out here. We're in the nice, warm studio, but it does look chilly out there. But, again, this is an unprecedented event that Matt's, you know, has ever put on. And so if you're watching on YouTube, send out a comment. Tell us where you're at. Tell us what you want to see more of. We got the drone out there. We got tons of drone footage. We've got... All, this is all coming at you live as well. Yeah, so we, we went through a lot of stuff yesterday. These guys were up till wee hours in the morning to try to make this a lot better than yesterday. And I, are, I can tell that the video quality is already quite a bit better. So really excited about today. We got, uh, you know, Seth of Firm Peak with Rudy. And if you see there, you can actually see his bike is on top of the Jeep. And Seth has planning, rain or shine, that with the bike on top of his Jeep, he is going to ride back down the trail in his mountain bike after he drives up. All right. I, well, we went back down the trail, and it was not – I would say it wasn't fun. It was scarier going back down than I feel like it was going up. Yeah, absolutely. But luckily I had you driving back. <laughs> yeah, we, were, we, went, we went and ran, ran, ran up there with the, with the S10. It was pretty fun. I look forward to seeing what the plans are with these drivers today if it does start raining. Well, do you think the do you think that all of these non-off-road YouTubers will stay in the seat or do you think that they're going to trade out and have some of the drivers actually drive their own? No, race? I think everyone's staying in. Yeah. I think, you know, we've had a lot of fan favorites out here over the over the, just yesterday and today. You know, Laura Farms, she's got a lot of fans out there. She has one of the smallest following of all the people here but I think her fans are speaking the loudest on the YouTube as well as on the Matt's Off-Road mobile, uh, Matt's Off-Road off Recovery mobile app. They're speaking loud there as well. And so let us know who your favorite is. And also you can vote. Always you can vote on the mobile app and let us know who you want to have come in on Saturday for the finals. Yeah, that's right. Anybody that gets on the mobile app, the mobile app's free. We had a lot of people saying it was a money grab. The mobile app is free to download. And you can go on there and you can vote for all the teams that were on yesterday and the teams today that you want to see compete in the finals for tomorrow. Yeah, Abby here on the YouTube chat, she says, I feel like egos are not going to let anyone back down. Uh, so every YouTuber we think is going to be out riding today. They're going to be driving, rather. But first one up today, we're going to be having Vin Wiki, and they've got 1.99 million subs. So they're right at that 2 million. They're knocking on the door. But the crazy thing about VinWiki, they did this cannonball run, which for people that don't know the cannonball run, Colt, what is it? Well, it's a, I think you're pushing the, the level of legality, but you're racing across the country as fast as you can. And Ed VinWiki, he held the time for the fastest cannonball run 
for a long time, right up until right up until COVID hit, actually, where when nobody was on the road, and then that record is that record got broke, and I don't know if it'll ever get beat because obviously racing across the country when nobody's on the road and a high-end car uh, is going to be a tough one. You said they're pushing the lines of legality. I think they're jumping straight over the line <laughs> because they did the Cannonball Run, 2,800 miles they did from Manhattan down into Los Angeles. They did it in 28 hours and 50 minutes. That comes out to an average speed without stopping for gas, treats, bathroom, 97 miles per hour. Yeah, that, that's cooking across the country. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. <laughs> So we're going to see. Maybe they'll be setting the record of rock climbing up here. Maybe they'll get up there pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope they do. I hope that's what they plan on doing, you know. Uh, Matt, Matt's obviously, the Scorpion is from the East Coast. Matt's from the East, or, you know, Southeast. And he's not afraid of going fast, giving it, giving it a little juice, even though that Cherokee of his still only has a four-liter engine in it. But it'll be cool to see what they do. I'm sure Ed's probably disappointed that it doesn't have Ferrari power. Yeah. <laughs> hey, should Ready? we cut to Jonah? Uh, Let's see what Jonah's we'll got going on. Camera, yeah. Uh, so you can see his helmet is awesome. It's got like some pink on it. It's pretty cool. Let's talk to some of the some of our audience members, some of our uh, some of the people who have come out to support their channels. Hi, how's it going? Good, uh, how's it going, man? What do you think about the competition today? It's been awesome. It's been awesome. We're looking forward to it. Awesome. Were you here yesterday? I was. Awesome. What did you think of yesterday? I thought it was a lot of fun. I loved watching that F-350 from Boars go oh, through yeah? everything. That was oh, fun. Yeah? Did you see when James uh, got the Boar there up on that rock? And you spun it around and, and almost tipped it all the way on its side. No, I yeah. missed that. We were further up the trail for that. Yeah. Well, it, w it will appear in the video, but Sweet. yeah, that was pretty awesome. So, who are you really looking for today? Whoever's going to do the most carnage. I want to see carnage. Right, yes. All right, well, Go. good talking with right you. Right on. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome. That's awesome. Um, it's always awesome to see uh, the different people and who they're looking for and who they're coming to support. Um, just the support that everybody is giving to the YouTube channels and the YouTube people who are here, to the content creators, is really awesome to see. Um, it's such a strong community and it's really great. So obviously he's gonna make it look easy, but he made that look super easy. We gotta give a huge thanks to these guys for getting this speakers of the trail.
it look easy. This is awesome. We're off to a great start. We are out here at the second obstacle. Um, and the, well, here's the first one. This is going to be the, our second one. And we are uh, just waiting for Rory and for Laura to bring up the rear. And they are doing an awesome job at making this obstacle look like a cakewalk. They're taking the hard line. I mean, leave it to Rory to make something, uh, like make a hard line look easy. Oh, we're back. Yeah, we're back here. Uh, so we were just hanging out there with Jonah, and it sounds real windy out there at Sound Hollow. I'm not sad to be here in the warm studio. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not called Hurricane for nothing. No, it's it's not. It's super windy out there today. And of course, southern Utah, we get great weather 364 days out of the year. But of course, with it being leap year, it threw in another day and now it's it's been a mess. So, But we're still going to be having fun here. It's still going to be having a great time here at Sound Hollow at the Off-Road Games. Yeah, for sure. And it looks like they got a camera ready on Rory and Lara. And the cool thing about that is Rory's rig is super neat. It's actually, he built it about eight years ago with just spare parts. He had a Jeep four liter, a three speed auto. He took his Jeep and basically just cut it up. He has one ton axles that he welded together. He just welded the, you know, when you have a locker, a lot of people have, a lot of people have lockers. He just took the diff cover off and welded it together so that he has permanent lockers or permanent spools, you could say. It's built about as cheap as you could build it. Okay. And uh, I think it's gonna be fun. He actually got his daughter's seat. Uh, Laura's, Laura's not a very big girl. And so he actually has his daughter's seat that he modified to fit in the front driver's seat for Laura to drive. <laughs> well, it looks like right now they're possibly at the fin. That looks like they're probably over there at the fin, sponsored by Full Throttle Battery. Yeah, so Full Throttle Battery has been around for quite a few years now. They are promoting all off-road stuff. So if, if you've got a problem with batteries, you've got a problem with parasitic draw, uh, their their batteries are going to handle it, I guess, a lot better than a lot of other batteries out there. So again, if you're appreciating the drone footage, let us know in the comments on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app, as well as here on the YouTube chat. We got a lot more going on today. We've got drones. We've got they we've got less cameras. I don't think we have any cameras inside the vehicles today. We've pulled them all out, and so you're going to be seeing a lot of the action and. Um, less of the reaction of the drivers. Yeah, I think yesterday, you know, they were hoping to get a lot of YouTube gold from the reaction of the drivers, but they are focused. These guys don't drive off-road regularly. So they are, their, their nerves are a little bit sprung, I think, you know, trying to drive something they've never drove in front of a big crowd. There's a lot of people down there too. And that just, that adds to the nerves. And I think that they're going to do, you know, they're going to do great just like yesterday's group did. But, you know, I think that's a good reason why, they're probably going to be a little more quiet than they usually are when you see them on their own channels. Yeah, and speaking of channels, people are used to seeing you, Colt, on Bleep and Jeep, but now you're off on your own. They're going to be seeing you on your own channel. Yeah, yeah, I've moved off onto my own and called Colt Builds It, and that's where I'm going to build more than just Jeeps. Right, so <laughs> when I see a new video from you, what can I expect on Colt Builds It? Uh, pretty much... Everyone all right? Okay. That jump scare brought to you by I Got Poop, the official sponsor over here of the off-road games. We've got, <laughs> that, one, that one got all of us, all right? Not just you, YouTube, and everyone streaming on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app, but that got us as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely uh, may have blown out my eardrum. It was a good one. <laughs> just making sure everyone's awake this morning. <laughs>
Once again, I'm DJ, and this is Colt from Colt Builds It. Thanks for joining us today. And, <laughs> yeah, the comments are coming in. Not only do we got poop here at San Hollow, but also a lot of the a lot of the commenters also got poop out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have a pretty cool off road deal that they got that they uh, brought all of the bathrooms up on the side of the mountain there. So if you guys have ever been to San Hollow, it's got it's you know it's a big rock mountain uh, that you can drive all over basically, and so. To be able to get around there, you have to have something capable to get on rocks and through really soft sand. Looks like we're looking at Lara right now. So I'm curious. She went on the first day, uh, Rory decided to take her out four-wheeling and show her how his buggy worked. And as he was bragging about how stable it was, he flopped it with her in the passenger seat and rolled it right over day one. Well, as a fan <laughs> of the off-road games, I have a question here. I don't want to be a jerk, okay? But if we're hoping for a little bit of carnage, we're hoping for a little bit of flipping a car, no one getting hurt. I don't want to see anyone hurt. But what if I kind of want to see one of these rigs turn on its side? Am I a bad person for that? Um, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's, that's personal preference, I guess. I, I agree. I don't want to see anybody get hurt ever. Um, but they are, the, all the drivers for these rigs, because they are non-off-road YouTubers, were all given helmets at the driver's meeting. So they have the option... They're all, they all have harnesses, they all have good quality seats, good quality harnesses, but they do have the option, if they want to, to wear a helmet as well. So I think that if somebody was going to do it, the, you know, the Tangerine is a solid candidate for that because it's already been on its side. Since Marvin from Flex Rocks and Rollovers didn't want somebody to drive his rig that hasn't driven off-road, Devin from Legal Eagle is driving the Tangerine which is Jamie's rig, if you guys haven't seen that before. How many times have you spilled it in one of these cars? How many times have you flipped one? Um, the first vehicle I rolled was my Cherokee, and then after that, put cage, you know, you do cages, and then once you have tubes, or you, once you start getting dents, you kind of stop caring about your rig. So, uh, you know, getting that first dent always hurts, and then after that first dent, you're, you kind of just say, well, whatever, I'm gonna get dents. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are these are these rigs safe that if someone does indeed flip it or even possibly roll it, are they gonna are the drivers gonna be safe on the inside? Absolutely. Yeah. Every one of these rigs has a roll cage. Every one of these rigs, like I said, has a has a harness in it. Uh, these guys are are set up pretty darn well. All right, so again you're looking here at Sand Hollow and all right, who do we got who do we got so here that's, coming up? Yeah, so that's Nate. Uh, Nate and Scott from Driver 61. Now, this guy is used to going fast. He is a Formula One racer, Formula One te uh, driver, teacher even, and he is driving Nate's Samurai. Now, I'm, I am a big Samurai junkie. I got quite a few Samurais at my house and sidekicks and other things. And Nate bought this thing from Ian Johnson. It was actually built on Extreme 4x4 many, 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 many moons ago, if anybody remembers that TV show. And... He bought it and has changed it all up. It has an aluminum body. He put a 200 horsepower Volkswagen diesel in it. And he was extremely concerned about anybody that couldn't drive a manual transmission. So he's got to be stoked that he's got a Formula One race car driver in there because he does have a manual transmission with a Dana 300 transfer case, which is a real common case in the old Jeep chair, like or old Jeep Wrangler or CJs and stuff. And, and, uh, after that, he has portal axles. Now, what a portal axle, it's kind of interesting. A portal axle is actually a really wide, um, high clearance axle. The, the steering knuckles drop down and they have their own gears like Hummers and stuff have. And so it gives them a lot more clearance at the axle. It's, it's kind of neat. Yeah, so again, it doesn't look like the rain has started to come in, but there are a ton of fans that have come out to the event today, and which... I'm not going to say surprises me that they're out there, but I think we're going to be seeing a lot more a little bit later, but de depending on this weather. Yep. And I can see that Matt Wetzel is wearing a hoodie again. So it's got to be a little chilly if he's wearing his hoodie. Yeah, I was told yesterday Matt does not wear jackets, hoodies, only T-shirts, which we did see him yesterday in a jacket, but then he popped it off pretty quick. Yeah, so I think... We should get over to what they got going on. I mean, if we can get down there, it looks like uh, it looks like they got Bleep and Jeep parked right now, but they got uh, the Morvair running. I'm trying to see who's in that. 
Should and we cut? Let's cut to Matt. Let's, let's see what see, Matt's. Let's see what Matt's doing. What Matt's doing out over there. All right, it looks like we don't have any audio over there on Matt. <laughs> I had him start it. Oh. You just need to just give it a little bit of fuel. There you go. Okay, so who are we in here with right now? Because it so, looks like are we in the we're not in the banana. No, we're in the more of air. Uh, the more of air is a super cool rig. It was a it's a Corvair wagon, and it's got an LS motor. It sounds amazing. It's unfortunate that they just don't have sound in there right now. It's a cool car. It's really tight. If you can see in the back seat, people were saying how Jamie yesterday looked a little uncomfortable in the back seat there. It is a very tight car in that back seat. You can see their knees in the dash and they're not, you know, I've sat in the back seat of that thing and I'm six foot five and I did not fit very well. All right, again, a big shout out to the entire crew, everyone making this possible from production to all the camera guys out there to our drone operator. And people have come from all over the world, not only to participate in the offer of games, but to make this production happen for free on YouTube as well on, on the mobile app. So thank you for that. And thank you for joining us. Your free entertainment here of the off-road games is brought to you by so many of our sponsors like Pepsi, like I Got Poop, like Onyx, off-road, you know, and we were talking yesterday, Colt, you have lost about 120 pounds. You don't drink any sodas anymore. Well, you drink fake sodas. Yep, I do. I drink fake sodas. Looks like right there, we just had uh, Vin Wicky drive up. He is playing a lot with that rear steer that we put in on the Scorpion. And he is having a heck of a time. So they are, looks like they're throwing ducks out at the crowd. That's Matt with Bleep and Jeep riding passenger with him, and they have a tank on the top. Now this will be the test. How windy is it? If he can throw that, if he can throw that shirt, and it doesn't go back in his face like it was for everybody yesterday, then we'll know that. Oh yeah, see, it's it's not nearly as windy as it was yesterday. Yeah, shout out to all of our camera people out here. People are asking on on the line, who's the drone operator? That is Phil. We got Phil on the drone operator. We've got Sean, Robbie, Colby, and Nate. We've got Jonah, Josh, Jackson, TJ, Thatcher. We've got a lot of people out here working, bringing you this event live and free on YouTube and as well on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app. Yeah, so everybody needs to remember that too, that if for tomorrow, tomorrow is the finals. So everybody that competed yesterday, which is a whole different group of off-road and non-off-road YouTubers, if you go on through the app, that's where you can actually vote for all these guys, for who you want to see, these guys and gals, for who you want to see on the final day. And I don't know, even know what they have planned for the final day. I have no idea what they're going to do with them uh, and where they're going to expect them to drive. Yeah, and if you want to know, we do have a graphic we'll show here in a second on how you can vote your favorite YouTubers into the final round. Now, we're only going to be taking five or are we taking half we're only taking a select few yeah, i think it's five or six yeah to the final day so we've got a graphic we're going to find and pull it up here in a second but the way that you vote for your favorite youtubers to make it to the final round you get on the matt's off-road recovery mobile app you jump on there and what you're going to do is you're going to comment it is going to be like number one that is james from donut you're going to have number two that is weston champlin so we're going to come up with the graphic here in just a minute where you're going to be able to check this out and uh be able to see how and who you can vote for so that'll be coming up here in just a second uh actually we found it let's bring it there now they might be having trouble to find that but it looks like 
right there, Matt is driving up, or I'm sorry, Ed, then Wiki, is driving up the fin. And right behind him is Rudy and Seth. Now, Seth does have a little bit of experience off-roading. Uh, Seth from Burn Peak there that's driving. He, uh, he actually got hurt on his bike and decided to get into RC rock crawling for a while. So he was into RC rock crawling. So he understands how the vehicle's gonna work, how it's gonna react. And then he actually has wheeled one time in his life in Moab on fins and things. Now, fins and things is nothing like this trail. It's a, I, I took a stock Jeep through it a few years back. It's a pretty easy one. And there we go. Now we have it right there. So you can see right there all the people that you can vote for. And you have to go onto the app to do that. So like I said, the app is free to download. You get onto the app and then you pick a number and you can see the teams there of who you want to compete on the last day. You know, someone that really surprised me yesterday was Mr. Build It. His name is Alex. He was with Lightbright. Alex did the entire thing by himself, uh, and he did the shoot, which is about an 89% grade going straight up, and Alex did it completely blindfolded. Yeah, he did have, he had Brittany in the passenger seat guiding him, but I'd like to hear what you guys think. Who did, who did you think yesterday did the best? You can, I mean, definitely comment in the live and let us know. But then you have to go into the app to actually vote. You know, and something we did yesterday that was really interesting is we were asking the crowd here, who would you like to see as YouTubers? Who would you like to see here next year? Because I think, Colt, we need to get you out there next year. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought about bringing my samurai out and ghost riding it up here, but that was, uh, that's what I did at my at home down in Farmington. And uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. But that, that, I think, you know, who they got, I noticed some comments today that people were talking about that watched the live a little later. They were talking about uh, one, of, one of my YouTube friends, actually. Uh, it's called Truck House Life, Timmy, and he's up from Alaska. He lives in Alaska, and he doesn't off-road really, but he camps out of his truck and just travels around and camps out of his truck. And I think he is would he be a great friend? Yeah, he'd be a great comment. He'd be a great guy to be on here for sure. This is, this is what's fun with the YouTube world. I'm subscribed to him. I watch him all the time. And you're his friend. Yeah. It's yeah. his channel's fun because you get on there. He's, go, he's got like a camper on the back of his truck. Yeah. He's got a fireplace in there. He makes his own food and he just hangs out in a blizzard in Alaska. Yep. A lot yep. of fun. So again, who would you like oh, to see here? Oh, here we go. Here? Look at this. We got, if you can get over to the tangerine, we got the tangerine stuck. Oh, they just pushed it through. Now, now Devin, Devin with Legal Eagle is getting ready to go up the fin. And it is what they consider, it's what Matt considers the gatekeeper of the Triple Sevens Trail. This rig is the smallest rig in the group today. It has tiny little tires. I think they're 33s maybe. And it is definitely the smallest rig in the group. I think it might have just a rear locker and nothing up front. It is, you know, they got their work cut out for him. It's a good thing that he has Marvin with him because Marvin is not afraid of, you know, giving it the onion when he needs to. So they did a really good job of driving right up that. I'll be curious to see how they do in the competitions or later on because there is a winch competition and they don't have a winch on the front. Yeah, I'm, again, the footage that you're seeing right now, that is Phil on the drone and that is just some of the most beautiful footage that you're going to see here in southern utah and awesome footage for out here at the off-road games so shout out to phil running the drone for us today we're able to get it up in the air the wind died down a little bit it was so windy yesterday yeah it was so windy you couldn't do anything and a drone would have just got blown away for sure <laughs> So, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Now you can see everybody sitting there parked up on that fin. And that fin is, it, that's probably one of the most dangerous parts of this trail, for sure. If you mess up there, you could flop. And if you messed up really bad, you could go off that fin. And that would be, that'd be kind of catastrophic, right? You don't say catastrophic, you say catastrophic. <laughs> so who do we got here climbing right here? Right there is Lara Farms, and she is riding with Rory or driving, I guess, for Rory and his buggy. And like I said, their first day, he took her out, flopped it. So she already knows what it's like to be on her on her side or on her lid. And she is gonna do a great job today, I think. If anybody is gonna feel comfortable in a rig, it's probably gonna be her because she is, I mean, she's good at, even though she hasn't rock crawled before, she does a lot of stuff um, in, in a lot of combines and things like that. It looks like we got Matt. I wonder if we can get sound there on their Dr. Pepper drinking. 
It's federal land. <laughs> All right. Let's go up and talk to some people. We got a job. Geography, Colby. This, this whole thing is just absolutely incredible. Watching a whole convoy of jeeps and technology making their it's way stolen, up. It's stolen, though. <laughs> I was taken hostage just seconds ago. It's it's just, good. The, the yep. logistics that went into this thing is just impressive. All right. We're waiting on Matt's call to tell us where we can keep going. Go, go, go. All right, we're on our way up. Let's we're keep this moving. moving. These Train good people over. came to see this. Getting these rocks conquered. I know. Believe me. I get it. I wonder. Oh, hey. There's a dog. This right here gets a little bit off camber. So we're going to be Is that better? Yep. Yeah. Come here. Oh, I can tell. Oh, you got to Her name's Rosie. Rosie? Yep. Of course, Matt's out there hanging out with the dogs. Yep. Out on the trail. Let's do a quick weather report out here at Sand Hollow. 49 degrees right now, but it is windy. It looks like we may be escaping the rain till about 3 o'clock. We were not told that earlier. We thought it was going to be rainy all day, but we've got 13 mile per hour winds as well as 27 mile per hour gusts out here at Sand Hollow. So probably not ideal, but does the wind actually affect any rock climbing, Colt? Uh, the wind, the only thing, the only thing the wind can really affect on these rocks is if it blows sand on the rocks, and then that's gonna make it like marbles. It's gonna uh, probably reduce traction a little bit, and you're just gonna have to give it a little more tire spin to clean off the rocks before you climb up them. It looks like Ed Van Wickey is really enjoying crab walking that Jeep. Now, rear steer isn't isn't really needed at all on this trail. I've done this trail a bunch, but it is fun to have it. It is a good tool. And I know once Matt saw me using mine all the time, he he decided that we had to do rear steer on that scorpion. Here we got Holly. Uh, Holly is with Dan with Mark with what's inside. So hopefully, I don't know, you know, he's he does a lot of stuff with his Tesla and other things like that. Hopefully we don't end up seeing what's inside of Holly's Jeep because I'd feel bad that if he, if he <laughs> just started tearing it all apart. Well, Dan, with What's Inside, it is now the What's Inside family. They've got 2.3 million subscribers here on YouTube. They've recently moved to Southern Utah, so this is their backyard. They may have the home field advantage out here at the off-road games. He's got, it's his entire family, his three kids, Lincoln, Claire, and London. His wife is Leslie, he is Dan. And what's interesting, how he started out his YouTube channel was his son Lincoln had a science project and wanted to cut open different sports balls. So baseballs, golf balls, footballs, stuff like that. And so he would cut it, he, they would cut it open and the videos just started to blow up. Yeah, I think that, uh... You know, it's kind of neat how things work like that sometimes where you end up, you know, you start doing one thing and then find out that people enjoyed it. And then it's like, okay, well, I got to continue doing that. So what, what we're seeing right now, originally Caitlin was supposed to be in her buggy and I was just informed that because of the potential pending weather, if you guys have ever been in a fair weather buggy, it's not super nice and cold and windy and rainy weather. So she is back in the banana and Kendall Gray is driving if you guys have seen Kendall, this kid is this kid is hilarious, man. He he is he is straight YouTube gold. He is a hunting and fishing outdoorsman. In fact, when we showed up to the drivers meeting on the first night, we were talking, and I said, "Well, when was the last time you went hunting?" He literally went hunting. He flew in to Las Vegas and went hunting yes, on God. his way up here to the actual drivers meeting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you a big hunter, Colt? Uh, I used to be, definitely, yeah. I, unfortunately, I've been so busy, uh, you know, in life, sometimes things take a, take a second take a second seat. Now we got Nate. Looks like we got Nate going up here with uh, driver Scott 61. And and what's interesting is it uh, looks like his front locker isn't engaged either. They... Uh, it's really funny because Scott's so used to going fast. I'm curious how hard it is for him to go slow. And that rig is super slow. Uh, right there, though, you can see a really good shot of those portal axles and see what I'm talking about. With those 43-inch tires, you can see that he could literally drive over a five-gallon bucket 
and not touch that axle. He has a, a huge advantage in the rock side of things. The problem is, is it makes your rig extremely tall. That rig is a lot taller than up the other rigs that are there. So uh, Naya here on our, our YouTube live, they've uh, made a comment that is, it makes a lot of sense. Wouldn't it be easier if they just drove around the big rocks instead of climbing up and going over them? <laughs> Yeah, but what's the fun in that? All right, it looks like we got somebody stuck here. Let's see if we can cut to them on Jackson's camera. Yeah, now neither of their lockers are working. I think that he, instead of thinking that he locked in the front, he dis he disengaged the rear locker, and now they ha they're just running no lockers. So what, when, uh, when you kick in a locker, what it does is you actually have both tires spinning uh, at each axle, and when you, don't have, when you don't have it, you just have one tire spinning. That's a regular four-wheel drive. So a regular vehicle that's four-wheel drive, you're only going to have one rear tire that spins and one front tire that spins at any given time. So Colt, you built, you built the S10, and you were driving it up here. Now the S10 may be more famous than you are. Uh, probably is. Yeah, uh, it worked out really good. I built it on a budget in a garage off my back in three months, and. Junkyard axles, junkyard parts, cheap S10 pickup. You know, S10s are still cheap, fortunately. And yeah, it just worked out. It still does really good. And it's leaf spring front and back. It's not fancy like most of these rigs with coils and coilovers and everything else. Okay, so it looks like we got some spinning wheels here on Jackson's cam. We're gonna, let's switch back over there and see. Oh no, he's made it up now. He's made it up and over. Yeah, they, they, got, it, they got it to work. They were working on those lockers and got it to work. Now what you guys are seeing here, they have three different uh, Jeeps that have speakers on them. This is for everybody that's in the crowd. They have different announcers that are there working around. I, I, I think I saw the Peck brothers talking yesterday. Lara Farms was talking. And these Jeep speakers are like one in the front, one in the middle of the group, and one in the back of the group. And they are announcing for people that are out there at the actually standing in that wind and cold and fighting through all this. And they're really enjoying it though. Anyway, when I was meeting them with them yesterday, they just loved it. All right, so Carl here, Carl Conrad, or Ca Carl Conard has commented, uh, appreciating the explanations on some of these technical pieces like lockers. No, not, yeah, no, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to do my best. Right, now we're actually seeing Hillbilly coming up in his Bronx Star. He ran the trail yesterday in the back of the group, and I guess he's gonna go ahead and run it again today. <laughs> Maybe they got the motor running a little better. It was running pretty rough yesterday, so. That thing's a it's it's a neat it's a neat rig. You guys really got to go check it out. It was it was fun to be part of putting those axles together for them. Okay, coming up here, oh, it looks like Rudy. we have an inmate in an orange jumpsuit. <laughs> Someone's escaped. That's Rudy. From, oh, okay, that's Rudy. <laughs> All right, I thought someone had escaped from the the county jail just down the road. Yeah, Rudy. Rudy likes to make sure that you know where he's at. Maybe he maybe he wants Seth to know where he's oh, at. Oh oh oh! Oh, Vin Wicky's getting crazy. We may see a flip here. A we, Ferrari flop. We've turned it. Ferrari flop. Aha. Our yep. first one of the weekend. There it is. Send a like on the comments right here on the on the YouTube chat. <laughs> it is our first one that we've seen here. Let's see if we can get some closer footage if we're getting somebody running up on it. Yeah, they uh, let's, let's now what you want to do when you when you flop like that, you immediately need to turn your engine off or it's gonna hydrolock the engine with oil. So you, you want to make sure your engine's off, or and I don't see any smoke, so I'm assuming they probably turned it off. But yeah, I'm guessing I'm guessing Vin Wicky felt a little more stable than he probably was until they flopped it there. Now what he needs to do is take his rear steer and turn down just like he is. That's a good thing to do right there, and then turn his front down the same way and hey, crab walk it back level. It, right? Let's see if we got okay, a. We'll head up right now. And it's yeah, still pulling a tire, out. but it should level out. There it goes. Okay, he's been, oh he's yeah, okay. Just there we go. There. Yep. All right, so oh. let's see after we get out of this if we can. Let, okay. Hey, let's cut into Jonah. Let's see what Jonah's saying about this. Oh, Jonah's right, having right. a blast. Are you going to carry it? Yeah, okay. I got you. That was insane. What did you guys think of that? That was awesome. That was a close call. That was sweet. That was a pretty close call. Let's hope none of the other competitors do that. But hey, if they do, we know we can get them right back up where they were before. I'm wondering if we have, if we have an instant replay. 
Oh, of, yeah, that flop. Of that flop there. Let's run back this instant replay here. Yeah, if you guys missed it, here it is right here. You can see that tire just unload. The suspension unloaded, and then he just kind of tried to kept driving through it a little bit. And there it went. <laughs> that's that's one of the advantages of having rear steer is sometimes you can drive yourself out of a predicament. Now, the downside to rear steer is when you're in a real bad pickle. When you're in a pickle with rear steer, then that means you've tried everything and it's going to take almost a crane to get you out. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised they were able to get out of that as easily as they were. Oh, again, oh. now they're pulling tires again. Yeah, so I'm actually legitimately impressed with how well Devin is doing with that rig. I mean, the Tangerine, like I said, it it's the only rig out here that doesn't even have two lockers and it has the smallest tires but it is a Cherokee and we know how good Cherokees are. I mean, that's how, that's where I started was with Cherokees. And so they're doing, I mean, they're just doing fantastic uh, to just be crawling through all this stuff. I mean, they're not crawling. I shouldn't say crawling to power through all this stuff the way that they are. Now let's see, we had, we had some drone footage here just to show you how close everybody was, is in on the action. You got to, you know, one wrong move here and you've got hundreds of people right next to you. So there's got to be pressure for the YouTubers as they're driving here. Oh, yeah. When you when you have a crowd around you, it just adds that extra extra bit of, you know, you definitely feel the eyes for sure. It's a lot different than YouTube where you, you can film yourself, talk about it, and then you don't feel the eyes. The eyes just come on later. You know, this is this is a live event. And so we're, you know, what we're seeing is what you guys are seeing. This is happening completely live. Yeah, totally live event. So big shout out, you know, to Matt's Off-Road Recovery. Putting this on the Off-Road Games, this is the first Off-Road Games that are completely streamed live on YouTube. Yeah, so there was a, you know, this is this is a big deal. This is a lot of work. Oh, are we getting sound? He's rednecking through this obstacle course. With power. He's, 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 he's 100% the underdog. Oh, my God. I mean, no one told me I couldn't do that, so <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. As long as we don't run out of gas in this thing, it's going to be a good show. Four power steering fluid, four exercise. <laughs> we got to keep these C clips in the, in the rear end, yes. too. All right, looks like we got Jonah. He's hanging out with some fans. Should we cut down to Jonah and see what, see if the fans are enjoying their night out there and if they're freezing cold? Arms inside the, the ride at all times. All right, that's awesome. Were you guys here yesterday? It's a much better weather than yesterday with the sand in your eyes and everything like that. Much better. Awesome. Will you guys enjoy the rest of the event? All right. With the Thanks for coming out, guys. This is awesome. The amount of people that have shown up to show their support and show who, uh, who YouTube, uh, which YouTube uh, creator that they're supporting is awesome to see all of that. A front axle, a jack. But we're waiting quite a while. Look at all of that. This is such an awesome sight. To all right, see so we're back we here, and who's climbing here? Doing is what that they love and to have that. Legal, legal. I'm just bombing through it, man. They're doing great. He's just now. With that being said, he 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 was just talking a little bit ago. He doesn't know, you know. He's like, I don't even know what we're talking about. I, so I'm thinking that he is just pushing the throttle down and seeing if it'll go. So he might be, you know, if there's a potential of a flop, he might be the next one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually defamation, Colt. So I would hope that they could cut that. You know, any comments coming in, be careful about your comments on legal, legal. That could be defamation. You could be finding yourself 
in the middle of a lawsuit here. But Legal Eagle, 3.1 million subscribers. His name is Devin, and he's easily the smartest person in the games. But do brains help when it comes to, you know, off-roading? Well, you know, they... I, that's a tough one, you know. There's always there's there, what they call street smarts, you know, and then book smarts. And so I think that... I think that as far as off-roading, that comes into more book smart or street smarts than it does book smarts. But yeah, I asked a lot of these guys to send me send me a bio on themselves, just a simple bio, you know, at 30 seconds or less. Devin sent me a book, and I couldn't even read it. I am not uh, smart enough to read all that. What I can tell you is some of the things that he's done. Uh, settlements valued over 300 million dollars, and. He is a UCLA graduate, summa cum laude. I didn't. I had to look up that what that even meant, and that's uh, I guess the highest awarded honor for for somebody to graduate with. Yeah, summa cum laude is Latin for very smart guy. <laughs> now we gotta be proactive, and we gotta throw our trash away. We gotta sack it. We put some trash in there. Yeah, don't be so we had just seen we had just seen Dan from What's Inside, and Dan, who he's climbing in. The blue, which looks like a, it looked like the blue Jeep for Dan. But something interesting about Dan on his channel, he just did a road trip in the brand new, the brand new Tesla, uh, the truck, the cyber truck. I wonder if a cyber truck could climb up these. I would like to, I would like to see him do it. I'd like to see somebody try it. They would. I, I would come out and film that. Imagine the views you would get on YouTube, a cyber truck in the off-road games what do you guys think about that let us know down down in the comments what you guys think if you would like to see somebody try to drive a cyber truck and i don't even care it could be a tesla it could be a, a rope you know what are they the uh, rivian one of them try to shove it up through there i think that'd be pretty entertaining who's who's got one of those in the youtube world that we could get here next year and I, the cyber truck yeah that's the thing. I didn't know they were even out. I've se I haven't seen one in person yet. So I think right here we are seeing Kendall the Gray. steps. Yes, and Kendall is driving up the steps, and they've named that. It's actually the uh, I believe it's the Milestar sponsored tire or Milestar sponsored obstacle of this event, and they're driving up it actually in Milestar tires. So. That's a, you know, I've been running mile stars for a long time. You know, that th this new MTO2 is leaps and bounds over prior tires. And it looks like they got Caitlin up there. Now, Ka what people don't know about Caitlin, if you don't know this, she is actually a professional rock crawler. So her and her dad, she drives, she, ha she has, like I was saying earlier, she has a full buggy and her and her dad go out and compete in rock crawling she actually had a very viral video on her own when she had a cherokee flopping off of the side rolling off the side of a cliff in farmington where i live down it's farmington. something that we can't explain it's a condition it looks like we know what we're doing lizzie how's the ride it's a great ride you a good driver Yeah, we're back on here. Yeah, so, yeah, so she flopped, uh, she flopped off the side of this, off this uh, cliff, rolled a couple times, and and you'd think the worst, and they get down there, and her dad had the camera, they get down there, and she pops her head out. She's like, please tell me you got that on video. <laughs> <laughs> was just super excited. So is is that Kendall Gray driving the banana? That is Kendall Gray driving the banana, the hunter, fisherman, outdoorsman. Yep. Well, if you're a follower of Kendall Gray's, you would see that maybe the smell, the awful smell that you're coming or that you're smelling right now is Kendall's breath. Because five days ago, Kendall just posted his video of him eating a skunk, cooking, eating a skunk. It came out fluorescent yellow and they said it tasted like skunk pee. <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's above that's above what I would want to do. I don't I don't do any of that fear factor stuff. But if I were to tell you, you'll get five million views on YouTube. Would you eat skunk meat? Okay, yeah, I probably. <laughs> would. I probably would. So what we got right now is a great drone shot. Uh, you can see there, that's Rory and Lara. They are working their way 
through the rocks. Looks like they're stopped right now, maybe doing an interview, but Matt might be doing, Matt is still walking around with, with the banana, with the Dr. Pepper that he probably stole from Bleepin' Jeep. All right, Laura Wilson, she's out here, Laura Farms, and you know, she's been a big fan favorite. She recently did a video where she hauled over a million pounds of corn in one day, and that girl's got a ton of personality. Yeah, absolutely. She's a fifth generation farmer, uh, born and raised in, in Nebraska. And that's what she, she grew up driving tractors, combines, semis, everything else. Off-roading wise, all she's ever driven is a Polaris Razor. Now, unfortunately for all the guys out there, she is here with her husband. Yeah. She is married. <laughs> And she is the only female non-off-road YouTuber that is here in the games this week. Correct, yeah. She and, and her and Rory aren't local to the area. You know, that's that's kind of the interesting thing about um, with, with Holly and what's inside is they are both local to this area. So earlier when you mentioned they have an inside, you know, kind of an inside... Uh, local better, you know... Yeah, the home field be advantage. Home field advantage. There's a word I was looking for. <laughs> they have a home field advantage that I don't think anybody else really has. Let's cut back into Jonah, see what he's got going on. And see if we can get the audience choice award. This mischief maker, JK, with the JL conversion grill yep. from Rock Monsters you. making its You're way good. up You're this. Good. You're good. Absolutely not even spinning the tire. But we're going to do this. Thing. is Jonah. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. They're yes, doing a phenomenal hey. job. Holly is just spotting from the inside. Come again? Mostly, yeah. Give it a thumbs up. Give everybody a thumbs up to Holly. That's what we love. They're having a riot out I'm here. I'm on my way. Yeah, Dan. like they're having so much fun. Thank you. Thank you guys. What do you think of the competition? Awesome. Who, you, uh, who was your favorite competitor so far?
Hey, we're back in here at the off-road games at Sam Hollow. We're hanging out. We're having a good time here. Now, this is going to be going until about about 2 o'clock. Yep. They're going to be they're going to be wheeling up here. If people, there was a few people ask about when the record pulls again. They're going to be tonight on the app. So once we're done here, it's not going to be the end of the live. It's just the end of the YouTube live. And you can download the app, and then you can continue to watch what's going on down in the vendor section and then down at the record pulls as well. They're going to be on the beach. It looks like Matt in that rig right there was not even wearing a seatbelt. I can take a seat in there too. Hey, there we go. He just ducked you. Awesome. That's awesome. All right, we got a big decline here for the banana. It looks like somebody was leaking something. Possibly. Maybe it was Rory. All right, Caitlin, so far so good. He's just driving. He's just driving. I don't even have to tell him where to go. Wow. I wonder if they hustled you and put you with somebody that actually knows what's going on. You know, I'm wondering here with all of the people watching on YouTube and also watching on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app, how long have you been a follower right. of Matt's Off-Road Recovery? I'm just Recovery? following the speaker, Are Jeepa. you new to the game or have you been here for a few years? and you feel like you know this crew pretty well, you can comment right now and let us know how long you've been a follower. Well, there's definitely quite a few older followers that have been around for a little while because they recognized Lizzie when she was out there. So Lizzie, ha Lizzie has moved on and it's not out of anything weird. She just got married and she wants to start a family. And so she still lives local to the area. She actually, I was at the reception of her wedding and she still dances and she still does all the horse riding you can imagine but she just stepped away to do that, to you know, start her life. Yeah, we've had a lot of people on here. Auto Collision Team, they've been following five years. Abby, she's been following two years. Jay, a year and a half. Evil, three years. Four years by uh, Grave Digger over here. And at least three years by Scratch. Four years by uh, Theoden's D&D. &D. So we've got a ton of people that have been following for a very long time. Yeah, we had one person right there. It scrolled up too fast, but I saw they said they subbed when, when the channel only had 10,000 subscribers. That was a while ago. Now, you were telling me how Matt's Off-Road Recovery actually built their channel. It yeah, so they built their channel because he was recovering. He had tow trucks. It was a tow truck company, Winder Towing. And they were recovering vehicles out in San Paulo. And what he realized is with the recovery trucks, he couldn't get them on the sand. It was taking too much work. So he started trying to pull stuff out with his Cherokee. And when he first pulled the very first RV out with a kinetic rope, a Yankee kinetic rope, uh, pulled the first RV out, people were calling him out and saying, hey, you can't do that. Like, that's not possible. It's not possible for a Cherokee to pull out an RV. And he knew then, he's like, I, I need to pull this and put this on YouTube. Like, people need to see that I'm actually doing this. This is real. It's not just fake. It's not just a picture. And it blew up. And it worked. Yeah. Yeah, being here from Southern Utah myself, I found it organically. And as, after watching the videos, I went, that's home. That's Southern Utah. I, had, I didn't even know. And then I've heard of friends that have been out here at Sand Hollow that have actually been pulled out by hey, Matt's off-road hey, recovery. Don't take that line. Oh, yeah. I think, you know, and once the channel started blowing up, you know, I mean, they're, everybody, you know, then you get calls nonstop, right? It's, it's Marvin, hey, can you, you know, pull me out? I'm this stuck. They just immediately go to you. And there are other recovery places there. out here, too. So right, I think that they're just busy, busy, busy this. all the time. Well, one thing I had... Uh, I knew a, a kid, like, well, I guess not a kid, 17-year-old kid, who he got stuck, and he called Matt's Off-Road Recovery. And with Matt's, they said, we'll actually pull you out for free if, if you, we, you'll let us video, which saved the kid because he didn't have any money to pay for anyone to pull his truck out. He was going to have to take out loans or, or ask his parents for money. So that was really cool for Matt to do. Yeah. Now, I wonder what kind of NDA. Looks like maybe the tangerine is the one that's leaking some fluid. 
We heard Jonah. I think you might be leaking something. Oh yeah, well, the whole time. <laughs> Hear that? The entire time they've been leaking something. <laughs> well, it is a chair. <laughs> So far. It's been so fun. It's crazy watching each different bill. The tangerine's the funnest to watch. Yeah. The tangerine is crushing it. It's crushing it. Yeah. Though I did talk to Marvin and he said that they've been leaking the entire way. Yeah, they're leaking something. They broke some parts. Yeah. But that's nothing that Matt can't fix, and then we'll ship it off to Robbie and he can just paint over it. It's gonna be fine. That's correct. <laughs> Looks like Bronk Busters is testing out the flex of their rig. Is that Bronk Busters or is that Hefe in the in his rig? It's hard to tell. Checking in here with YouTube and comments on Matt's Off Road Recovery mobile app. Uh, people asking, what's the weather like out here? What's the temp like? So I'm checking in here on our weather and we here at sand hollow 50 degrees fahrenheit all right 50 degrees fahrenheit it looks like it's going to be sticking around there maybe jump up to 55 with a little bit of rain a little bit later wondering here where what is the temperature like for everyone else where you're at comment in on our youtube live as well on the matt's off-road recovery mobile app let us know how warm it is where you're at right now so if you guys were here yesterday you saw that they had they had three competitions they have to do, and one of them right there was a tug of war, and they're picking people out of the crowd Start here. And having a tug of war. Come on. Wow. Well, is today much better than yesterday? So we're getting a lot of people checking in here with where they're at, you know, 13 degrees Celsius in the Le Netherlands. No idea. Is 13 degrees cold? Is it hot? I That could mean anything to me. <laughs> well, I remember one time I had an opportunity to go to Australia and they told me, yeah, it gets it gets up to like 60 degrees. And I'm like, well, that's not too bad. And then I looked that up in Fahrenheit and it was about 120 oh. or 140 or something like that. It was hot. Ooh. Hey, a lot of people checking in here. Also, if you've ever wanted to meet Matt and the entire off-road recovery team, you could come on out here to Sand Hollow, get your car stuck in the sand, give them a call. They might be the ones to come pick you up. Maybe. You could be in, you could be in a YouTube video. I'm saying, I mean, maybe they send someone else to pick you up, but there's always a chance it could be Matt's off-road recovery headed out to the dunes to pull you out of whatever situation you're in. Now, it looks like, looks like Lara's just walking through this stuff, you know. Her, her yeah, well, I, I, I'm not an off-road YouTuber, but my people are out here, yeah. you know? Like, they came and supported, and it's just, it's awesome to cross over. That's awesome. I'm excited to see you take that bike down. Yeah, I'm not excited to ride through all this sand. Oh, yeah? And I'm not excited for that climb over there. Yeah. Because I think I'm going to have to hike up it. Oh, but yeah. otherwise, I'm very excited to ride down this. Are you riding That's down the awesome. chute? Uh, no, I think I'm riding down that side, like back. But the around. chute. we got to thank our sponsor, yeah, Hallie Off-Road, for everything that they did to make this thing happen. I would like to ride Miles down the chute, but they told tires. me to ride down over there. So we got to thank I Down Poo for sure making for everybody. And and to go and they need it's easy. Them. Okay. Yeah. Give it up, I'm not worried about it. It's more logistics. No yeah. like, to go. I, I feel like if you can go down in an off-road vehicle, you can definitely do it on a bike. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. For sure. Yeah. So, yeah, looking forward to it. That's Especially awesome. Great talk. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, we'll check in with you later. All right. All right. All right, so if you want to vote your favorites into the finals, we're ready. We've got a graphic. Now, 
Colt, explain to them how they can vote their favorites into the finals. Yeah, so you got to get, you got to download the Matt's Off Road Recovery app, and it's free to download, and then you can get on there and you can vote for the teams. Now, yesterday we had some great teams. We had Donut, you know, James with Donut, uh, with obviously Matt with Matt's Off Road Recovery, Weston Champlin, Robbie Layton, Sean with Bikes and Beards driving the Peck Brothers rig, Craig, the bearded mechanic, driving off road and chills rig alex mr build it driving light brights you know buggy that uh, that identifies as a jeep we had todd project farm you know they were driving bsf's rig and bsf is by far the oldest youtube channel oldest youtube recovery channel too uh, you know they started in 2009 and uh brent ghost town living was driving bent off roads truck and then there was a lucky more fan that actually got to ride with caitlin now that, you know, then we got a whole different group today, and every one of them you can vote for. So you just got to go to the app, and you put in the number that you right there. You saw the numbers, and then you just put in the number of who you want to win or who you want to see on the final day. And we don't even know what they have planned for them on the final day. Yeah, there's it's going to be a lot of fun, and you know, so you can go on and vote for who your favorites would be. So far, if I had to vote, I want to put in Vin Wiki. They're the only ones to spill it so far. Well, and unfortunately, yesterday with the, you know, we had some camera issues the first day of the live. I, I do know, you know, everybody was asking what happened to the back of Deja Blue, uh, Robbie Layton's Cherokee. You know, it's brand new or just finished, and the back end was crushed up and the window was blown out. And I can tell you what happened. Weston Champlin happened. And I think that he would be very entertaining for the final day as well. Redneck science. Yep. I want to see... Weston, I think we need to see Vin Wiki. I want to see Mr. Build It again because he shot that. He did the shoot blindfolded. I want to see that. I want to see, you know, Laura Farms. But whoever you want to see, you got to jump on to the mobile app. Matt's Off Road Recovery mobile app. Just comment on the live stream there. It's completely and totally free. Yeah, and I, you know, I'd love to see what you guys think in the live stream. We are watching the live stream chat. So as you guys are commenting, you know, as we can catch them, we are watching them and reading them as well. Good. You guys and fun. I think that, you know, man, these teams are, there's a lot of really good teams here. So it's going to be really cool to see who makes it into the final day. And if you guys don't know, the rules to this are, uh, we make them up as we go. There really aren't any rules. So it looks like we've got the tug of war going on. Let's see if we can cut to the tug and see who's going to win this. Good job, kids. You all did so good. All right, looks like the kids like and Legal Eagle, today. they had they had the law on their side with that one. <laughs> yeah, he probably talked his way right into that win for sure. What happened on the first day yesterday? We've got these comments coming in. You know, we had a lot going on, a lot of wind, a lot of camera issues with, with it being our first day. But as we promised, today was going to be so much better, and it is. It is absolutely so much better. So tomorrow, I know, is just going to be unbelievable. Let's take a look at this drone footage that we have. And again, Phil, he's our drone operator. Let's send it to him. Look at the beauty out here at Sand Hollow. And also all these people. That's what's scary, too, about doing this is for these drivers who have never done this, they've got hundreds of people just 10 feet on each side of them. Yeah, and that's why this year they went in and marked off the tire trail, too. So the tire trail is marked off to keep everybody safe, keep them out of harm's way, but still give them a good view, which actually works into if you guys ever want to come out here, we do have two great sponsors that are actually do, running people up the trail. So you don't have to have a fancy off-roader to get up in here where these people are at. You can just have a cheap rental car, and then we have Mad Moose that's providing side-by-side -side shuttles up here. And we also have Red Rock Humvee that's running people up into this event as well. So you can get rides up here and walk. So it doesn't matter what your walking capabilities are. You can actually get walked, you know, driven right up to wherever you want to sit and watch these guys do this crazy stuff. Again, this is a lot of people on our on the YouTube app right here commenting in and also on Matt's Off-Road Recovery letting us know next year they want to see Sleeper Dude. And I may... I may not make friends here, but 
Who is Sleeper Dude? Someone here explain to me what Sleeper Dude does. What is his channel all about? Are you aware of who Sleeper Dude is? Uh, my dad is a huge YouTube fan, and he tells me about Sleeper Dude uh, quite a bit. But he he's a, he builds hot rods, I believe. It's a hot rod guy. And um, I've also seen some for Cletus McFarland. Cletus was actually planning on coming out, but he is having a kid, so he cannot... Uh, you know, obviously, I think any of us would agree that that's takes that's going to take precedence to this every time. But it would have been awesome had she given birth while off roading in one of these. If she gave birth in the banana, that would have been awesome. <laughs> maybe next year. Yeah, maybe next year. So what we're seeing right there, that is Holly, mischief maker, and Dan from What's Inside. Now we know that they have the home field advantage. What I can give you a little bit of info on Holly's Jeep because I've actually worked on it quite recently, actually. That is a 2017 Jeep Wrangler Chief Edition. That's why it has the blue with the white stripes on it. Uh, it's got aluminum RPM steering, 42 inch tires, 20 inch wheels. It has fusion axles front and back. This is Dana 60 front and Dana 80 rear. Basically the higher number of the axle, the stronger it is. So like that tangerine that we're seeing right now only has, uh, I'm gonna say an eight and a quarter in the back and a Dana 30 up front, which are not very strong axles. They're actually pretty, I mean, they'll hold up to a little bit of abuse, but not the same kind of abuse that any of these other rigs are gonna handle. But I do know Holly's rig really well because I just fixed that rear Dana 80 ARB in the desert. Uh, it broke and I made up a way to turn it into a spool and uh, yeah. did it with just desert parts. <laughs> yeah, that's why your channel, your new channel that just kicked off two weeks ago, Colt builds it and you're going to be able to check out all the stuff that Colt can just build. You're a builder, man. Yeah, it's going to be about a little bit of everything, but yeah, definitely that's uh, my goal is to teach people how to do stuff, even if they don't want to do it on their own. They may just they give them the knowledge. Looks like the Peck brothers are doing some of the, some of the crowd pleasing down there. So like I said, with those speakers, they got speakers down there running for the local crowd. And then having people out there announcing for everybody that's down there. And you can just see how many people are down there watching everything that's going on, getting some free t shirts. And Jonah is continually having a blast. Let's see if we can hear what he's saying. My fingers right now from when I took it off my head. <laughs> now they're all in his hands. You know, yesterday the Peck brothers did something that was probably the most dangerous thing I've seen out here yet, where they were riding, they had their Jeep, they also had two seats on top of the Jeep where they were strapped into those seats. One wrong move could have been awful on this live stream yesterday but they were safe they made it through well i think what a lot of people didn't see too though is they were riding when the when there was no obstacles they were riding on the flat spot um you know i still 100 percent agree you should wear a seatbelt all the time and you should have some sort of protection around you but they were just riding on the flat spots they would jump out when they got to the any obstacles where it's going to get a little bit crazy but i did feel a little bit guilty for a little bit bad for sean with bikes and beards for that for sure Powerful lines designed specifically for us. That changes right now. The male-dominated industry would tell you that pink equals power. It can't even finish it out. Like nothing. Lighter in the hand, but heavy on performance. That's our promise. Join me and rise up in power. Order your Athena Grill today. Oh yeah. You just saw the ad for Athena Drills over there, and I want to know if you had, you know, if there's any women here on the stream watching right now. If you're if you're a woman, let's hear it. Let's hear it for you on the stream on the Matt's on Matt's Off Road Recovery mobile app, or also just on the YouTube chat. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more women getting into off roading, and I'm I'm loving it because I think it is it is 100 percent a family sport and there is no no bias to who can drive what anybody can drive so i'm i, I really do enjoy seeing more women out here more kids out here it, it really makes it awesome to see a lot more families out here wheeling and doing stuff and just just enjoying the outside
Mike Edwards commented on here. He said, I got to admit, the redneck science and donut, they're super entertaining. And that's also what I was wondering. Besides being a subscriber to Matt's off-road recovery, who else? Three, two, well, it was from 10, wasn't it? Seven, six. All right, hey, we are up here on the trail. I think we just completed, everybody's done the tug of war now. All right, so we got Scott here, driver 61. I don't know what questions to ask, I already know all the answers. <laughs> How's it going today, what are you thinking? Well, compared to what I normally drive, this is the most terrifying thing that I've ever driven. <laughs> going, he's shouting at me, saying words that I don't understand, but it's a lot of fun, so. <laughs> well, you're killing it out there, so that's awesome. All right, Nate, your rig. I know you showed building it on your channel, you showed a little bit of testing it at Johnson Valley, but really, it's still in shakedown mode. Oh, it's definitely in shakedown mode. There's yeah. a lot of work to be done. Uh, I'm glad we've made it this far without anything like exploding or imploding, so <laughs> I consider that a win. Um, yeah. But Scott's killing it. He's doing a great job. He's listening awesome. to everything that I'm apparently shouting at him. <laughs> and, uh, we're doing good. Nice. Okay, Caitlin. we got Caitlin and uh, Kendall Gray here. Aren't you just going awesome? I mean, the banana speaks for itself. It just goes. Kendall is driving it. I heard you were nervous yesterday, but today it doesn't seem like you're nervous. The scariest part is just driving, but like not knowing what you're driving over. Whether it's a yeah. rock or a person. When it starts going down, you don't know how far it's going to yeah. go before it stops. I got it. I got it. All right. Rory and Laura, how, how's your day going? Well, I was just finished the tug of war. Uh, I don't know if it's like the altitude or something, but I'm unreasonably out of breath. <laughs> tug of war competition. Uh, but so far, I think the day's going pretty well. We're how's having a lot of fun. How's the today. buggy doing? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Doing great. Oh, she's doing awesome. Like you said, she was a little worried, but she's crushing it. All right, well, the worst is yet okay. to come. Uh, and I'm excited. For We're excited. We're ready. All right, awesome. Well, get in your Jeep. Let's go. We're going to do the next thing. All right, Matt, set it. Thank you, guys. All right. All right. This is where we cross, so we're leaving triple sevens now and going on uh, double Sammy. So triple sevens actually crosses and goes up there to the left of those rocks. That's where we do it when we stand on it. And double Sammy comes from the right of the rocks and loops back around and goes up here. So yeah, this is the intersection. All right. Oh, they've already started in the Jimmy Lakes. Again, Rudy keeps throwing me off over here. My guy looks like he just escaped from the local jail <laughs> in the orange jumpsuit. But yeah. you can spot him. You can see him out there. Yeah, and, and some interesting stuff about the Rudicon. So they, are, they just started through Jimmy Legs is what we're uh, affectionately doubling, dubbing this area. And that's uh, when, when you saw him going through that, that hole there, you can really wipe out, you can easily wipe out the right side of your rig. And what Matt was talking about is that's right where triple sevens ends and ties into double Sammy. So this is actually a whole new trail that they're on now. This is double, double Sammy that they're driving up. Now the Rudicon's pretty cool because it's a 1999 Jeep Cherokee, but it, instead of just having the regular four liter inline six, he went ahead and decided why not make it better and he put a boosted tech facebook marketplace supercharger on it because that's what you want to do to a four liter right is supercharge it and uh but everything else is stock like the motor's still stock with a supercharger he's got an automatic a 231 t case which is just standard standard transfer case in jeeps and then he has some ford super duty axles that he put 538 gears in and he actually broke one of those axles, helping Hefe get through some of this stuff the other day and had to repair it yesterday in the parking lot while the other teams were, were four-wheeling. And if you look close where the Burn Peak bike is, you can actually see that he has a removable roof. So if you guys have ever seen a Cherokee with a removable roof, he created that. There goes Lara right there, no helmet. She's got it hanging up in there. How do you feel about wearing a helmet while doing the off-roading? Um, I actually carry a helmet with me all the time in my buggy. 
And if I'm going to do buggy lines where I feel like I could potentially flop or roll, I put my helmet on. I actually do. I've seen enough accidents where I don't, I, I'll wear it if it's, if I potentially need to. Now, what, right there is where I was talking about the beginning of Jimmy Legs. Now, these, you gotta remember the Rory's rig is a buggy, so it's a lot narrower than other rigs. But you can see how tight that is on this passenger side. That is where people will usually scratch up the right side of their rig for sure. Now we've got awesome drone footage out here at Sand Hollow. And if we if we're able to cut to the drone footage and check out just the beauty out here, all these people and you know, if you've never been to Southern Utah and you've never been to Sand Hollow, you need to be here. Not only do we have the rock crawling, we've got the sand dunes, but this is the warmest lake in Utah. It gets into about the 70s and 80s. Really? The yeah. reservoir does, huh? Have you oh, been wow. in the water? No, nope. Yeah, it is extremely warm out here. Yeah, that's awesome. Plus you have Zion, you got Bryce just north of you. I mean, there's a lot of cool things you can do out here. It's a great place to bring a family to do stuff, uh, you know, even to hike or do any outdoor activities for sure. It's an awesome place for outdoor activities. So asking on here, how many people that are on the stream are also subscribed to you know, people like Lara Farms or Vin Wiki or Burn Peak. You know, if you're following already, if you're subscribed to a lot of these people, let us know in the comments. And who, how about you, Colt? Who are you a big follower of on these, on these channels? Well, me personally, yeah, I'm actually uh, Craig, the bearded mechanic. I really like the stuff he does. Obviously, Weston's entertaining always and Donut. I mean, they got, I actually really admire the way Donut edits their videos as somebody who films and, and does all my own editing um, that you know whoever they're using for their editing uh, they do a really really good job Todd from Project Farm he's another one that I that I follow I mean all the off-roaders I already follow so that's that's kind of a given but uh, Todd does some great reviews Brent with Ghost Town Living I mean that stuff's just uh, it's it's neat to see and then Lara Farms I actually found her on accident one day this a few years ago when she got a deuce and a half and it was given to her and her and her husband put it back together to get it running it was just stuck in a field so i was really impressed with that that they were able to get you know one of them old trucks back together and drive it and i knew if she could drive that you know she's good to drive pretty much any rig out here for sure you know there's some real youtube addicts here like rolling trouble uh connor follows donut and berm peak Mavix is Berm Peak, Heavy D Sparks, what's inside? He says, and I'm sure that there's a whole lot more that they follow here as well. Like I said, I follow your buddy that does the, what's the what's his channel called? The Truck, truck Out in Alaska. Life. Yeah, yeah, Timmy, Truck House Life. Truck House Life. Yep, yep, he does some cool stuff. I think we'll have to get him out here next year for sure. But yeah, Seth with Berm Peak too. I, I you know, I've went out and wheeled in Windrock quite a bit and He's, uh, you know, I've, I've seen the, the bike trails there are so legit. And to see anybody drive, you know, ride their bikes down that, I'm, and he does that, you know, it's, it's just, he's an impressive dude. I'm excited to see when they get up this trail, when they're done, him actually riding his mountain bike back down. Yeah, that's not going to be easy. I said going down was so much harder than I thought going up and so much sketchier and so much you know a little scarier oh it definitely is going down stuff things look bigger um you know gravity is in your favor but can work against you at the same time it's not as easy to back up because now your weight's forward in your rig so yeah it's a totally different feel going down stuff for sure wondering here on the mobile app matt's off-road recovery as well as youtube you know, who on here is watching that would love to start a YouTube channel, that would love to do this, that would love to be out here and, you know, try to try to make a career out of building YouTube channels. Colt, you were telling me it is not easy. You have to dedicate your life to really doing this. This is a full-time job and then some. Oh, it's 100% a full-time job. When I built my S10, I did it in three months and I was working on it in the garage during the day. I would download footage during dinner, and then after dinner, I'd stay up and work on editing. So I was putting in 14, 18 hour days every day for three months straight to get that done. Now it worked out in my favor. I won that Onyx Off-Road Build Challenge, 
and I was able to go on Ultimate Adventure from it. But yeah, it was, it's a lot of work. It's definitely a lot of work. It's just like any job, right? You treat it, you know, nobody works harder than somebody working for themselves. So, well, you I've treat seen it just like that. a comment on here says, too old for that. And I don't think so. I don't think it matters with your age on YouTube. I think everyone has an audience by being themselves. Oh, uh, believe the Jeep the fastest. Rudy's in second place. Rudy's in second? Yeah, 42 seconds. It must be that jumpsuit helping him out. I knew it. We're going to see if Holly can beat Bleep and Jeep's record. Matt has arranged for a really comfortable spot to just... He's getting him set up. <laughs> this winch is confusing when you've never had to use it. It makes sense. Never been stuck before. So yeah, a lot of like people, the when they started their channels, mostly what I have heard, experience. everyone goes, I kind of just did it passively, and it's now turned into a full-time job. You know, uh, Alex, Mr. Build It, I was talking to him the other night at the little party that we had, and he was telling me, yeah, I was... <laughs> I was just uh, working at the hospital, and every once in a while I would build something and blog about it, and my friend said, you need to make videos, and he said, my first videos were so terrible, but that's the thing, you just got to do, you just got to post and move forward every single day. So it looks like they're doing the winch competition right now, and I'm going to be curious to see how how Devin with Legal Eagle talks his way out of this because they don't have a winch on the front of that tangerine. Looks like they're going to be pulling Dan. Is that Dan from What's Inside Family in Correct. the blue? Yep. They're, what they're doing here is they're just, uh, it's more of a winch speed test. They're just winching and then timing them and then seeing what the fastest times are. Now, from what I've been told, they're gonna put those times up in the app somewhere as well. So if you guys know this, you know, I know we've talked about it a few times, but if when this live is over from YouTube, it's gonna continue live on the app. So if you go to Matt's Off-Road Recovery app, it's free to download and you can get on there and then you get to actually continue watching everything that's going on, plus the record polls that you saw. The people that were here at the very beginning of this live, they were seeing some of yesterday's record polls that were on the beach that everybody else got to watch live on the app. It looked like for a second they were going to try to flip this. We tried to show them what a yeah, flop felt like. This is going to be entertaining like, because Devin is obviously not afraid of the skinny pedal already. Did you catch that? And uh, I'd like to see what they're what he's going to do I didn't to get out of this situation trying to winch because he can't winch. As you can see there, there is zero winches on the front of that Jeep. <laughs> you know, uh, let's see who, who said this here. Uh, Damage Man commented here on YouTube saying, I would like to see comedians out here. That could be a lot of fun. You know, comedians, Theo Vaughn. Do you know who Theo Vaughn is? No. Comedian, podcaster. He's got Netflix specials. His brother actually lives here. So Theo's here all the time. It would be really cool to see Theo Vaughn. He's a little redneck as well. Uh, people have been saying Burt Kreischer, Tom Segura out here. We've even had Joe Rogan they're saying should be out here for next year's event. So again, who would you like to see come out here, be a part of it, you know, next year? Comedians, YouTubers, anyone that you would like to see, comment here on the live stream right here. Like we've got Bobby Lee, Ed Bassmaster, of course, Stavros, uh, Get Rich Rebuilds. Ginger Billy, I would actually love to see Ginger Billy out here. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Fluffy, Post Malone, Sleeper Dude. Everyone wants Sleeper Dude. I guess we're going to... Hey, hey, funny thing. Somebody commented Taylor Swift. I just was watching... What, uh, who was it? Missed, it was uh, Dan. What's Inside, What's yeah. inside What's Family. Inside. He's, he's, he just did a couple videos on some Swifty stuff. If you're a Swifty fan, maybe you need to go watch Dan with What's Inside because he was just doing stuff. <laughs> Rest in peace to the to the YouTube chat right now after Colt just mentioned Taylor Swift. We're about to see we're about to see some real carnage. People wanted carnage. The carnage is gonna be here on the stream <laughs> after T Swift's name was just mentioned. Ed Bassmaster. I love Ed Bassmaster. We've got so many people that people would like to see 
out here. Scott with Kentucky Ballistics. You know, someone had commented and they said, you know, someone here in Utah, they have, they got a cyber truck and they shot it with a 40 caliber. And I'm wondering what happened with that because are the, is the glass, I think the glass is bulletproof. Yeah, I wouldn't know. That, I, I'm actually seeing, I'm still reading through these comments and I saw a couple <laughs> people put in Chris Farley. I, I don't know how familiar they are with that, but that would be kind of creepy because Chris Farley hasn't been around for a while. About 26 <laughs> years. Let's get the hologram of Chris Farley out here. That's who we want to see. You know, I really do want to see Colt out here next year. Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> Jim Carrey. <laughs> Vice Grip Garage. So I will tell you guys that Derek actually wanted to be out here. Unfortunately, Derek couldn't. He had some other prior obligations. So I hope that next year that you will see Vice Grip Garage out here as well. Keep those comments coming in. Let us know where you're listening. It is so cool to get on this and just see how many people are watching this from all over the world. You know, some are right here in our backyard here in Utah other just a few states away, some across the country, some in other countries across the world. So right now it looks like we got um, Leap and Jeep. Leap and Jeep and Edvin Wiki are driving up the wave pool. And this is the start of the, yeah, this is definitely the start of what we're calling the wave pool. Awesome. Who's been Last, your favorite uh, Yesterday, so we were talking about someone that you've been able to hang out with a few times, and that's Travis Pastrana. It could be a lot of fun to get Pastrana out here, which we know he's already been out here at Sound Hollow before. If he's probably get, done these courses. If you could get Travis Pastrana to come out here, he, he's not afraid. To, he's not afraid to go fast for sure. He's got a heck of a. I mean, he's got a heck of a reputation for being a solid driver. So he would be. He would be entertaining to see him rock crawling for sure. It, right now, as you're watching Ed drive up, this what you're trying to do. What they are trying to do right there is straddle over. That is a V notch and they're trying to keep it level. So the idea with rock crawling is you want to keep your rear axle level. If you can keep your rear axle level, your rig will stay more level. And that is what they're attempting to do. Right now, you know, that's that's the advantage of having flex. The, you know, obviously the more flex you have, the better your rig will handle a lot of those droops but if he was in the tangerine the tangerine is going to pull a lot of tires through that section if they don't pick a better line you know someone on here just commented steve-o you know i think we could get some of the jackass guys out here this would be a walk in the park for them i feel like they have no fear in any of this stuff and I feel like you kind of have to have a little bit of fearlessness inside you to be doing this. Because Colt, when you took me, it we didn't we didn't pack enough huggies. Let's just <laughs> say that it was it was not an easy thing that I was really looking forward to doing with you. Well, I also took you in an S10 with leaf springs, so all these guys have a lot more flexible rigs. And with leaf springs, you're definitely going to pull tires on a regular basis. Looks like Seth with Burn Peak just rolled right through that. I mean, he rolled right through the wave pool there. No problems at all. Uh, like I said, he does have RC rock crawling experience and a little bit of jeeping experience from when, when he went to Moab. So one of our sponsors we're going to check in with here is Pepsi, right? Big Pepsi fans and Pepsi, they're one of the reasons that we've been able to put this event on today for this yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The entire off-road game is brought to you by Pepsi. And so here on the on the chat line, I'm asking, let's do a poll right here. Pepsi or Coke? Which are you a fan of, Pepsi or Coke? Now, I don't want to see any of the comments with Mountain Dew, Root or, Beer. Or I don't Dr. want any of that. Pepper. I mean, you got to... You're going to throw in... Okay, I'll let's let you throw in, in Dr. Let's Pepper. Let's throw in Dr. Pepper because this, this is the funny thing. People always question, is Dr. Pepper owned by Pepsi or is it owned by Coke? And they're by themselves. Yeah. Right? Okay, yeah. so Coke... Pepsi or Dr. Pepper, you got to let us know here on the chat. And so far, the, Pepsi may be taking it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's rolling through fast. Now, when you were a soda drinker, what was your go-to? Pepsi, Coke, or Dr. Pepper? Um, I, I was never really a heavy soda drinker, but I'd say when I was a kid, I liked, I liked RC Cola and I liked... Uh, Mountain Dew. So RC like, Cola. RC Cola. Kmart? Is that K I think that was, you could get that at Kmart. 
Rest in peace, Kmart, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I was, you know, if so, so it looks like it looks like Ed actually transferred out and now Christopher is driving. So Christopher is now driving Matt uh, Bleep and Jeep's rig. So they must be taking turns. And they both got to be completely distraught over the fact that it's not a Ferrari, a Porsche, or a Lamborghini. <laughs> yeah. This guy, dude. All right, he's climbing like, in here. Now, is he still driving? Yeah, he is. Okay. Yeah, Holly's spotting him through. So Holly is spotting Dan from what's inside here. And you can see there how much better, like that line, she's keeping that rear axle a lot more level. It's not getting as twisted up. And that's how you're going to keep your rig a lot more stable. That's the tricks that I'm talking about. A lot of people when they're four-wheeling, they think about their front tires and they don't think about the back. And the back is actually what keeps your rig level. It's what keeps you from getting in a weird predicament. You need to think about where the rear axle is going to end up, where the rear tires are going to end up. And that's how you want to place your front tires. That's a little trick uh, if anybody's out there four-wheeling on their own and wants to get into a little more uh, higher level of rock crawling. All right, right here, Colt, we got a question for you from Jorge Ruiz. Colt, how cheap is a cheap rig like the $10? No, no, sorry. Like the S10 or Rory's buggy versus an expensive rig from there? Well, when you get into high-end rigs like a, a Jesse Haynes Fab portal buggy, I mean, you're talking $120,000, $150,000, which is just above almost all of our budgets. It's just way past what we can, what we can do. A cheap rig that's good quality that can keep your rig together and do a long trip. I built the S10 between selling parts and what it cost me. It was about eight thousand dollars. So that's that's a, a feasible hardcore rig. Now, like what we're looking at here with the Tangerine, you're not going to drive this thing on the road on a regular basis. You're just going to do your best. And, and man, he has put the holes to that thing. Uh, but you are going to have a blast. You know, you can, you know, it's hard to get a Cherokee cheap anymore. You used to be able to get them 500 bucks. They were always known as the poop boxes of, of Jeep. And, and, but yeah, there, you know, you find a cheap rig that you can just put some tires on and go have fun. I mean, it's really hard to beat that kind of entertainment. The problem is, is those rigs aren't very dependable in the long run. Now, I wonder, it looks like Marvin is trying to spot Devin through this. And like I said, Devin has been not, not been afraid of that skinny pedal at all. He is driving it like, like it's, like it's a rental and it is a rental. So he's treating it exactly correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, so this is legal Eagle we're looking at here, right? Yes. Okay. It looks like he's having trouble because those back tires appear to be stuck in the sand and they're just turning. Yep. Yeah. Well, it doesn't have lockers. That's what I was saying. It, it's uh. You know, it's, it's by far, it has the biggest disadvantage of any rig out here today because of that situation. Now it looks like Nate, Nate is in a very weird spot right here. They are really, really high. He might be actually having, he might be having Scott get out and trying to drive, uh, drive his rig out of that situation. Yeah, and if you're noticing here, these people are literally feet away from these drivers, especially right there where we just saw with Legal Eagle. Yeah. They are so close right next to him, which adds more to the lawyer here. <laughs> well, I think out of anybody, he probably is just fine talking in front of people and doing anything uh, that would make a normal person feel uncomfortable in front of people. So that probably doesn't face him as much as anybody else, I would think. I mean, heck, the guy's got bar admissions in California, New York, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Yeah, he's going for can it here. Get, can we get sound bites on that? Is he pushing through? Legal Legal made it through. <laughs> it was spotty for a second, but he made it. All right, Tangerine just went up Good the buggy question. line. They're, they're loving that, and that's exactly why, it's, you know. They, they 100% are the underdogs in the vehicle. All right, checking in here with Matt. And he's completely ran away already, but let's see if he's got something to say here with Legal Eagle. 
man. Your license and registration. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was the buggy line in this thing. Yeah, man. That was perfect. Man. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for the direction. That was that was a little hairy. It's kind of like hey, Marvin. Marvin's like what he does is like really extreme builds and really extreme. This is a this is a non build yeah. Yeah. and kind of extreme. All right, here's our replay of Legal Eagle finally being able to make this climb. It's going to be a little bit fun to spot it's so much not super cheap. Absolutely. No, it's a blast. You relearn how to uh, look at yeah, the line all over. He's definitely not afraid That's of that great. skinny pedal. He's been putting it down. You know, this has to be such a rush for somebody like him from the East Coast coming out here to Utah because if you're from the East Coast, you know you've never seen this type of of world, this type of earth like we have here in Southern Utah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's one thing I love about uh, traveling the country. I think people, you know, people always say they have the hardest or they have the best and, and you know, whatever, it, it, wherever it is. And, Really, you find you find that every place has hard, and every place has easier stuff, and every place it has. Every state in this great country has amazing something if you're willing to go look for it. Laura is just walking through this thing, man. She is just, I mean, no problems at all. She has just been cruising through. Well, she's been on farm equipment her entire life. I don't think there's any fear out of Lara in this. Yeah, well, she's at least used to going slow. Now, Nebraska, I don't know how, how much time you spent in Nebraska, but there isn't a lot of big climbs in Nebraska like she's doing today. All right, we have a comment here from Chuck. <laughs> it says, Colt, who is the most obnoxious off-roaders? Jeep guys, Toyota guys, Chevy, Lexus, what do you think? <laughs> I, I think any any off-roaders can be obnoxious if you find the right crowd, for sure. That, I, I don't think there's any, I don't think you could specify it to a vehicle. But there are there are Jeep purists, there are Toyota purists, there are Mercedes purists, there are Land Rover purists. Um, I I my goal is to always ruin a purist's a purist's uh, look on on a vehicle because I'm the guy that wants to take a little bit of everything, take the best parts of everything. My perfect tow truck would be a Ford cab with a Cummins and an Allison. So it's a Ford Chevy diesel and I'd make everybody mad. Every, every vehicle <laughs> purist on the planet. Um, you know, and I feel the same way about my vehicles. I got a, you know, my Samurai buggy has a Toyota motor on forklift propane with Dodge axles and Chevy brakes. And you know, it's, it, and it's uh, titled as a 72 Datsun. So, you know, it's a little bit of everything. It's, it's the Johnny Cash. I mean, rock crawlers are, are Johnny Cash people for sure. They get they go after a little little piece of everything on their way home. And that's how you make your rig. <laughs> All right, go. we're checking back here in the banana. We've got Kendall Gray. Ooh, he looks like he may have just, he may be stuck there. Yeah, he is picking the same line that Legal Eagle had. And what he needs to do is they need to get him a little farther passenger. So that it looks like that's your line. The problem is, is you run into your differential. And so if they can get his tire, if you can see in the left of the screen there, there's a little low spot. That's where you want to get your driver tire in first. Get your front tire over that, and then the rest will follow through. You know, and for people that are actually here at the event, we have had a few comments saying that they're here at Sand Hollow watching the event from the stream and also in person. You know, afterward, Colt, you, you'll be hanging out. You've got a booth out there. All of the YouTubers have booths. They're all hanging out. You can go meet them, shake some hands. And a lot of them have merch as well. Yeah, that's the great thing about this event, you know, and, and we're working on making this an annual event every single year. And that's what, that's, you get a chance to just meet everybody. And now it's not just off-road you YouTubers, it's non-off-road YouTubers. He's not a YouTubers. runner. He is there's, a dirt there's even right. people down there. There's companies that's down true. there. If they were quiet. Uh, Rugged Radio is That's Artec. right, that's right. There's tons of companies that's down right. there as well that are, that are down there. I think there, so. You know, Warren and... Yank them. And all right. I, I mean, I can't even think of them all. You know, Harbor Freight's down there. There's tons of people down there. Milestar Tires. Out. And, 
you can just meet everybody. So you can right. talk to people about their products. You can talk the to right YouTubers pocket. about, you. you know, whatever you've been wanting to talk to them about. And, you know, we are really are just real people, too. I mean, sometimes people think Thank you. it is. It's just a, just a regular dude that, you know, likes to film stuff in their garage or whatever. Now, it might may, may be different for Legal Eagle because he's, he's a lawyer. It may be a little different for the Ben Wickies because, you know, they're, in a, they, they're probably a class above me, but... <laughs> <laughs> Probably five or six classes above me, but everybody else is pretty much just real people. You know, it's funny to see the people that you've been watching their YouTube videos for a while, and you come out and you're in front of them and you go, oh, you're a lot shorter than I thought, or you're a lot taller than I thought you'd be. It's just funny to finally, you get to see people and once you see them in person, you're like, oh, this is actually the person I've been watching for years. I feel like I know them. Yeah, it, it is kind of funny that, well, uh, Holly's husband, Walter, is probably one of the few people that casts a shadow over me. I'm six foot five. And I had somebody yesterday actually tell me that he, they thought that, they're like, Walter was smaller than I thought, and you're a lot bigger than I thought. And I'm like, mm, he, Walter must have been sitting down. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. he's a big right guy. Here. Will they come up right here? Yeah, we've had, uh, you know, Mizzou says hey colt can you ask everyone who's watching from the furthest country so absolutely yeah so you know we definitely like to check in now i will ask yesterday a lot of people were just tagging their flags and i am way too american to know every flag in this world and so if you want to go ahead and put your country name in there with the flag that would be great i would love to actually call out some of the countries and some of the places that people from states or anything uh, that's really cool. Denmark's immediately, I'm seeing that already, so that's cool. Speaker Freak 02, watching from the UK. Italy, Sweden, Estonia. We've got two Estonias back Serbia, to back. Australia, Switzerland. Yeah, that's awesome. New Zealand, Hawaii. South Africa. Israel, Belgium. South Africa, Sweden, Romania. Mexico, Romania. This is wild. Thank you for joining this stream, everybody. So right now, you can see Kendall is still in that same spot. It's just because he's staying too too high to that driver's side. They, if they can get him up the passenger side a little better, that Jeep will walk right up. Yeah, now the question I've got for everybody. Oh, and we're burning here. This is Matt with bleeping Jeep. Yeah, this is uh, Christopher driving now, and he's do, he's just in front wheel drive. So this is something you can do uh, with an aftermarket transfer case is you can disconnect the front and rear wheels so you can be in just front wheel drive. So he disconnected the rear and had it just in front and was burning the tires. And what that's going to do is actually it's going to warm up the tires and it's going to make it stick better on the rocks. You, you're just full of all the tips, Colt. You've been doing this a long time. Yeah, many, many moons ago, I used to actually compete yeah. myself, so I was part of a, uh, a competitive um, rock crawling team. I, think you had a call and, uh, I might do it. I might, I might jump in it again. And, you know, now that I live in Farmington, New Mexico, they have the We Rock Grand Nationals there, so I might just jump in a sportsman's class or something if I'm there. And, and at least one of my samurais is working right. So right now. Kendall's jumping him back. So this is one of the things that we said didn't matter. Uh, you know, if the off-road, if the non-off-road YouTuber felt uncomfortable getting up something, then the off-road YouTuber can jump in place and go ahead and drive up. Now I'm curious, another line in this obstacle is if you keep it high driver. And that looks like that might be what Caitlin's trying to do is keep her tire higher driver. Um, where you straddle that V as opposed to dodging it altogether and going more past it. And that's what it looks like she's trying to do right here. So if it'll grab, if it'll climb, this is an optional line here. Let's see. The, ban the banana has been thrashed. <laughs> People have been commenting. They're worried about the banana out here. So the banana has a 4.6 stroker 4 liter, a Golan stroker 4 liter, uh, automatic transmission. Uh, it's 2001. 
the transmission's basically stock. They did just put a new transfer case in there, uh, just recently a Hero case that's a three, I, think, I believe it's a three to one low range, and, or maybe it's a four to one, I can't remember, but it's give, it gave them a lot more crawl ratio, and it's turned this banana into a much better crawler than it's ever been before in the past. Now what, what, what you're not seeing is the rear tire isn't spinning. So this is the one disadvantage to a limited slip is when it gets really bound up, it does not give you that traction you need. And a limited slip uh, is supposed to engage and disengage, but when they get really bound up in the off-road world, they do disengage. So that's why that rear driver tire is not spinning. And I think that is where Caitlin isn't realizing she is used to her comp crawler that will right here, that's Randy. always locked all the time. Here on our chat, here in Utah, it is 11:46 a.m. on Friday morning. What time is it where you're listening right now? Where you're watching? Where you're living your life? What time is it there? Again, here in Utah, 11:46 a.m. on Friday, the 15th of March. Let's see here because we probably have a lot of people watching from work today. <laughs> well, if you are, I thank you. If you watch any of our channels while you're at work, I appreciate that too. Okay, banana <laughs> has made it probably through. Doesn't. Yeah, your both your boss does not appreciate it. Oh yeah, we've got times all over the place. So who's watching at work right now? And like we mentioned before, you know, when this live stream ends today, uh, it's going to stay live on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery app. The app is free to download. You just get on the app and then you can continue watching. You're going to get to go walk through the vendor section. It's a little more relaxed and you go watch the vendor section and then they're going to take you over to the record poles that are going to be on the beach tonight. Okay, we got some burnout action going on oh, yeah. here. He's still in front wheel drive. So this is what I was talking about. He is uh, putting on more of a show now. He didn't need to warm him up that much, but that's probably his Ferrari blood in his foot kicking in right there. Now what he can do is, you see, he's going to put it back in four wheel, so that's why he backed up to get it to engage in four wheel drive, and then they're going to walk through this. They will probably drive right up. They are on, I believe this is the beginning of the wave pool. That's a big climb. Last year, Alan from Yankum Ropes rolled right there. Actually, rolled his Toyota right there. That's still oh, in Robbie's shop. How often? Oh, man. I keep having the fear someone's going to flip it completely backward. Does yeah. that happen often? Um, not super often, but if it gets light, if somebody can't grab reverse fast enough, yes, it's going to, it'll happen. That is a steep spot. Uh, if you don't take it right, if you come at it at a, at a weird angle, that will flop you off to the driver's side. And that's the thing on camera. You cannot tell how steep, how deep these things are. You really can't tell until you're thrown right into it. Yeah, now Sean with bikes and beards is carrying a camera and he is sitting there riding with Scott, driver 61, the Formula One driver. Looks like Holly decided to go ahead and just jump in with Dan as well. They're probably tired of walking. This is a long trail to walk. Now we all know this is gonna be entertaining right here. Let's see what Devin does. We already know that Devin, Devin's foot is nice and heavy and uh, he's, he's driving a rental. Marvin doesn't care because it's a rental for Marvin too because Marvin's not, you know, he's not in his rig. So he's probably telling him to give it the onions. Of course. You know, we know why that cage got put on the tangerine anyway from the get-go is because it got loaned out to the kids and they rolled it. So that's why they cut the roof off and caged it up as it is. So it's going to be interesting to see how Devin gets up that. Yeah, so we've got a lot of people on here getting paid from their employers to be watching the off-road games this morning. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Colt, were you able yesterday at your booth, were you able to stop and get some food at some of the food trucks that are out here? 
Uh, I did not. I didn't get to leave my booth once I got down there because I was only down there from two to six. But it was actually uh, just a really good time. It's great to meet everybody, everybody that came down there. You know, take pictures with them, shake hands, listen to stories about their rigs. It was really cool. I really enjoy that. Colt was out there shaking babies and kissing hands. Yep. <laughs> Getting it all mixed up. <laughs> Yeah, Colt Builds It. You can find him on YouTube, his brand new channel, going off on his own. Colt Builds It. Okay, let's see. We got a climber here. Oh, no problem. Up and over. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Dan, like, like we were talking about earlier, Dan being local, Holly being local, they definitely have the hometown advantage here. They've probably been out here pre-running off, off camera a bunch of times without anybody even knowing. Oh, and there, we just caught the last second of Devin running up that. I wonder if we could get a replay on that at all, but it, I'm curious to see what he does here because this is the second part of this wave pool, and this is where people can definitely uh, get get a little wild. Okay, yeah, here's here's the replay, and he definitely it's slowed down here, but he's he's gonna put it through the through the gun. You see a lot of tire spin. There's a big old Jeep wave, bam. <laughs> Now, if he'd have had a locker on that and it would have went up and then caught like that, that's how you break axle shafts. That's a lot of spinning force right down on a tire. A broken <laughs> shaft does not sound fun out here. Now, Legal Eagle, he may be one of the more brave, one of the more brave YouTubers out here. Uh, yeah, brave or just has no idea of how bad it can get if things go bad. But he, like I said, this thing has a fresh cage. I mean, they put this all in. Uh, and made it, you know, it, it is a stout roll cage intentionally uh, because they wanted to keep the kids safe when they were out there treating it like a rental as well. So it, it has a cage, it has seat belts. I mean, it's set up. This is going to be an interesting climb to say the least. I'm curious. Now, he, you know, the trick to getting up this with no lockers is to actually have some tire speed. So I'll be curious to see how well they do. All right, we're approaching the steps, so we're going to be sending our sending it out to the steps over there. No, this is the wave pool. I think they passed the steps, yeah. Up and oh, over. Oh, yeah, and did you hear that middle of that Jeep slap? Oh, man, did that slap. Let's cut to Jonah. Let's see if he's inside the rig with Legal Legal right now. <laughs> Over here and not so no. much <laughs> over there. They, they didn't tell me I had to stop when I, I got to the top. <laughs> well, I don't remember that you told me that. Is it, it just goes straight down. Oh my god. Alright. My sister, my sister would never forgive me if I killed my brother-in-law. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was the first time I've ever ridden up in that, and that was insane. Now we're headed straight up that. <laughs> You know, there's something fun about Jonah. Jonah just has the likable personality. He's a likable guy. Oh, Jonah's awesome, man. He he had the, the greatest joke. If anybody's met Jonah, he's not a very big guy. And uh, he's a uh, super great guy, though. He, he was out of my house. I didn't have to use the will right now. <laughs> he was out at my house and he was so hungry. He hadn't eaten all day. He's like, yeah, like, I used to be as tall as you. He's like, I used to be 6'5", and I'm so hungry I wasn't away to 5'5". <laughs> I told you I can't do that in this car. Okay, who wants to see some donuts? I, I can't do that either. I, I can't do that either. I'm just going to slowly go up this hill. I'm just going to slowly go up this hill. That's all I can do. Legal Eagle getting some crowd work in. Oh, yeah, man. I mean... He, I'm curious what the underside of that Jeep looks like now. That slapped hard on that rock when he climbed up that. I mean, and this is all just almost unfair. Lara, Lara and Rory together are just that they're just walking through everything. Nice and easy. Take this line right 
this part right here though where she's getting ready to climb up i think every one of them is uh you know it it'll get your nerves right there for sure now you can see the bronc buster rig behind him now the bronc buster rig has not been afraid to roll over in the past it has flopped uh quite a few times twice in pritchett and moab actually and i'm curious how their lines what they're gonna pick to get up through there with that speaker on the top Be careful in there, Jonah. He's got a That's heavy foot. That's no, that, that was that was fantastic. That was great. Um, so the thing that I was I was telling him earlier, how you know it's when you're outside and you're like, oh, that looks scary, and then you get in and it's not. I was totally lying. It is just as scary. <laughs> and, and the crazy thing is the camera, because it's a wider angle lens. It takes away a bunch of the slope. Yeah. It looks like, oh, this is you're just going up a small hill. No, it's like it's like 45 degrees. Yeah, you are looking straight up at the sky. <laughs> I mean that last one was a, was basically like 80 degrees. It was like 10 degrees off of 90. Yeah. Well, that was insane. How did you think that went? Man, Bobby? he did perfect. He followed every instruction on it, like on the dot. It was absolutely amazing. This guy can drive. This is <laughs> awesome. I'm so proud of him. Like I told him, put your front tires on and send it. And man. Couldn't have been done better. That's awesome. I'm really grateful for this right here. Great job, Colin, for welding that in. That has been quite literally a lifesaver. So again, if you want to see right, Legal well, Eagle like we're just in the, the championship right tomorrow, so we're just gonna be in here probably. We're gonna put up a graphic here in a second oh, showing how you can vote <laughs> on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app. If you guys are curious, as we're naming off these obstacles, uh, since they are sitting right now, they are climbing up the wave pool. Oh, Laura's having her first bit of struggle. Uh, you can get on the Onyx Off-Road app as well, and it is it is free to get on, and you can get on there and see this trail. That's called Matt's Bad Decision, I believe. And it's uh, you can see exactly where we're talking about. They have the breakdowns of the trail. They have the breakdowns of where they're doing the competitions at and everything. Well, Laura didn't struggle for very long. She hopped a tire, backed up, and rolled right up it. So she is just cruising through this trail. Uh, she owns it. Man. She owns it. For never, for never rock crawling before, she is walking through it like she owns it. You know, something fun about Lara, she would mention her and her husband on their way out from Nebraska were talking about how they could do their own version of the off-road games, but with farming out in Nebraska, that's something that would be a lot of fun. I would, I'd be down to see, you know, who could shut corn faster or something. Let me look. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing off-road YouTubers out to the farm. All so, right, so yeah, here, here's how you can vote for who you want to come up on Saturday. Um, that is tomorrow for the finals. We're gonna have a graphic pop up here. And again, you can vote on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app. Yep, and it is free to download. So you just get on the Off-Road Recovery app. That's where all of this stuff is going to continue on. You can watch the live now. You can get it on Android, you can get it on Apple, and you can even get it on Roku. And you can get on there, you can watch everything after this live stream on YouTube ends. And this is where you go on and you vote for who you want to see go tomorrow. Now, I, I would definitely say that there was some entertaining things happening today. You know, we know for a fact sometime yesterday, Weston Champlin did Weston Champlin things and destroyed the back of Robbie's brand new Deja Blue Cherokee that Matt just finished. And we know that, you know, we also know that uh, the guys at uh, VinWiki decided to flop the bleep and jeep rig and obviously Devin with legal eagle he is the 100 percent underdog here in my opinion as far as all the vehicles in this competition and he is bombing through this i feel like he's going to be either great it's going to be win or fail with that rig for sure he ain't worried yeah we need to see you at? we need to see ready? legal eagle so here ready. tomorrow the for the championship the and we've got Johnny Quest commented here on our mobile app saying, Legal Eagle wins the award for the best hair. I could agree. I don't think that hair has moved at all in, in, in all of this wind. 
Well, I, I can't say I could give anybody the, the look for best hair, but I can tell you who the best looking guy is with no hair. That's this guy right here. <laughs> that is Colt. <laughs> <laughs> now here, they, they are driving the banana up that, and that's a great angle. You can see how steep that actually was. That is such a steep rock. Now, remember too, that video never does justice. If you go out here and see this on your own, you would see exactly how realistically it's steep it it's feels. It's gotta feel pretty good to see something, your prized possession. Something you built with someone else driving, get on something like that. You know, it's interesting. We need to find a way that people can come out here to San Paulo, go and do these, you know, these off-road games just by themselves or, you know, with with somebody. We, we need to figure out a way that we can get some people out here because this looks so much fun on the stream and being able to do it on Thursday uh, or on Wednesday, rather, with you, Colt, was a ton of fun. Yeah, and I think that, uh, you know, well, on the mobile app, that's the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app, there was a lucky winner yesterday that actually got to drive, and that's because he was on a live, a previous live on the mobile app, and he won, and he had an all-expenses-paid trip. He came out here and got to drive the banana up this trail yesterday. I think that anybody else that wants to come out here and drive this trail, that's why this trail will be on the Onyx Off-Road app. They are one of the sponsors here. They got the trail mapped out completely and you can come up here if you got a jeep or a toyota or a land cruiser or you know or land rover or mercedes or whatever uh you can come out here and see this trail or if you just got a bike and you want to ride it or walk it or anything like that i bet even the tour groups that are here the mad moose and the red rock humvee would probably be willing to show you this trail if you ever want to come out here and do that uh, NZ Native says trails are getting closed, uh, getting closed around the world. So it's good to see America keeping the sport alive out here. Well, and part of that, I, I, I did want to actually talk about today. So that's really good because, yeah, part of that is being proactive in your community. A lot of us, uh, you know, in any general, in just general life, are reactive and not proactive. And to keep trails open, I've put in a few trails in my life, and it takes a minimum of about six years to get a trail in. Uh, and that's just because you got NEPA processes, you know, surveys and geological things and, and uh, a lot of user groups. So being part of your local off-road four-wheel drive clubs, being part of UPLA here, the Utah Public Lands Alliance down here in Utah, being part of the Blue Ribbon Coalition and, and, and Stay the Trail. These are, these are parts being an advocate for what you like to do. And that goes for all sports and all outdoor activities. You know, if they close the trails, then they're closing, you know, the access, you know, they're going to close your access to your bike trails, your hiking trails and other things. So being proactive in your community uh, and being, you know, being an, uh, being part of a group because these uh, national forest, BLM, things like that, they don't recognize a single entity. They, you know, you by yourself, they're not going to recognize. Devin is just killing it out there. He is not afraid of that skinny pedal and it is working in his advantage. And that might be the way you just have to drive that rig up this trail. Let's see if we can get one of these drone shots showing all the people out here and kind of showing the the trail of where everybody is. Oh yeah, there you go. You can see all the, just it's insane how many people are out here. It's awesome. It's great to see so many fans, so many people out here just enjoying, you know, enjoying Utah and, and what Sand Hollow has to offer. Yeah, shout out to uh, Phil, our drone operator out there today, getting all of these shots. And, you know, this is... This, you got to realize, this is a stream on YouTube that you're watching with about 20 different cameras in all these different locations that we're able to put together for you today, guys. So big shout out, Matt's Off-Road Recovery, for putting this event on and all of our sponsors for making this thing something so cool that, you know, people are sitting at work across the world watching this event live. Yeah, you guys are literally watching everything live. So I appreciate everybody that understands. I mean, this... From yesterday to the day, this is a total game changer. Now, yesterday, too, was the first day of anything like this, and we had a ton of weather issues. The wind was a thousand times worse than it is today, and you can see in those flags, it is still blowing. It is Hurricane Utah. Uh, and, you know, it got its name Hurricane because I guess the story goes that when the British came through here, they're like, it's like a hurricane here. 
And that's why it's called hurricane and not hurricane. Is that correct, DJ? Yeah, it's windy. It is extremely windy out here. And again, that's how you can tell if someone is a local or not a local. If they pronounce it hurricane, they're not from here. Strictly hurricane. You will lose friends over it. <laughs> you know, a lot of people really happy to be seeing Lizzie out there on the trail. And, you know, if we could get Matt and Lizzie to you know talk to the camera for a little bit so many people because i guess lizzie's been off the channel for a while yeah she has she was uh so her dad is matt's one of matt's best friends and they are a great family just a, an amazing family and that ever-growing economy there's one name you can rely on for all of your waste management needs i got poop.com from portable toilets to septic services, pipe bursting, potable water delivery, igotpoop.com is your one-stop waste management solution. No matter the size of the job, our dedicated team goes above and beyond to resolve your issues in a timely manner. We understand that time is money, and that's why we push the limits to ensure your project stays on track. But don't take our word for it. Our satisfied customers speak for themselves. So when it comes to waste management, remember, nothing is impossible with igotpoop.com. Contact us today to learn more about our comprehensive services. All right, so we are back here. Thanks for that message from I Got Poop. They've done a great job of making sure that everybody can go number two and getting they're getting in and out with all of yesterday's Meals on Wheels for sure. Yeah, yesterday's Meals on Wheels. All right, yeah, so going back, talking about Lizzie. Yeah, so she's she is still a part of that family. Uh, she has just moved on to create her own. And I'll tell you what, though, man. Uh, Caitlin, Caitlin came in, has stepped into this channel, and she is fantastic. I've had time to, you know, work with her uh, in a couple different projects, and she is a go-getter. She is, uh, you know, a hard, you know, she's into hardcore off-roading. Awesome! I've been riding up in the Tangerine with Devin from Legal Legal, and it has been absolutely crazy. It has been insane. I've never been in the vehicle before, but it was like this, and and it was awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> who, are, who is your favorite competitor today? Uh, I, I'm a big fan of... Uh, Pike Brothers? Pike Brothers. I like the Rudicon and everything. It's super cool. I, I love all of them. That's awesome. All right, well, you guys enjoy the rest of your day out here. Thank you. All right, we're getting back into the tangerine now. All right, so we're back here. Check out this. Is this? A, I don't know if this is the drone shot. This. Oh yeah, it's definitely. Is a that drone? drone? Yeah, oh yeah. Yep. So they are, they are at the top, um, right at the top of this trail system right now. So they've just went, they've just went up the the rock band is what they affectionately dubbed the last obstacle up here and it's not that hard it just looks awesome <laughs> yeah again big shout out to the thankless jobs out there like the cameramen that are out there in the cold getting beat up by this wind and sand because a lot of people don't realize when wind meets sand it's like shards of glass flying at you oh yeah and it's hard on equipment it's hard on parts and they're doing a great job just running through it i mean Keeping all this together has, has been quite a task for this crew. I think Jonah's having the time of his life out there. Jonah the Tangerine. Is Jonah back with Legal Eagle right now? Jonah is riding with Legal Eagle, it looks like. Yep, he is. He is in the passenger seat. Jonah. It's probably a really good thing that that Jeep doesn't have lockers because 
it, like I said, it has stock axles and it would be breaking everything the way he is throttling through stuff. <laughs> Yeah, and if you haven't reacted here in the chat, whether the mobile app. Good job, man. <laughs> he is just putting it down. Jonah, I no one's having guys... a better time than Jonah and Legal Eagle. <laughs> That's the real team we want to see. <laughs> we got some work to do. Yeah, where? So there are there are some people asking where some of these other drivers are. And they went yesterday. So BSF was yesterday with Todd from Project Farm. So if you want to see them, you got to get onto the Matt's Off Road Recovery mobile app and vote for them to be on tomorrow because tomorrow is the last day. It is the finals, and there's only going to be five teams, I believe, that are going to get the four, uh, get the four wheel on the last day. And I have no quote, idea what Quote me on that. That was awesome. That was epic. I think that we've got to see Jonah and Legal Eagle quote tomorrow. That. Make that into a I want to see Van Wicky. They're the first ones to, you know, Van Wicky, they're the first ones to, to turn. What did, we, what did we say? He flopped over on his side, and then and then I'm sure that he that Matt talked him through how to use the rear steer and was able to drive back out of it, actually. That's, that's the one advantage of having a rear steering axle on a buggy. Yeah, so keep your comments rolling in. With that being said, though, Lara Farms and Rory are just walking through everything. So if tomorrow is technical and and they do something different, I have no idea. You know, her and Rory are just walking through all these obstacles. And they might be the ones that can finish if, yesterday, if tomorrow is harder. Now, if we can cut to Josh's camera, this looks like the shoot, right? They are at the Okay, so yeah. let's see on right here. This is this shows you how steep this really is. Yes. It is almost a 90 degree angle going straight up into the air. Yes, and that's where I took you on the very first day. I feel bad because they said, Hey, you know, I got we got this guy, he's never been off road. Let's uh we want you to run him up the chute. Yeah. <laughs> and we did, and honestly though, it throws you back in your seat. You're looking straight up to the ceiling, to the sky. And it is, it is, on camera, it doesn't look as steep. It looks so much easier than it really is. Oh, it is absolutely, uh, extremely steep. And if you, you know, you can hunt down YouTube videos of people flipping on that, back flipping, rolling, uh, attempting to do what Rory did with his wrecker and drive up backwards and roll. There's a lot of stuff out there that uh, people, you know, they take it for granted because they see somebody drive up it and they don't realize how truly steep it is. So again, if you're looking to, you know, have a place where you want to go this summer, maybe with your friends, your family, it's very family friendly out here in Southern Utah. And Sand Hollow is a fun place to be because you've got the sand dunes, you've got these rock crawling, and we're not really seeing the sand dunes, but the sand dunes here are intense as well. Oh yeah, there's been uh, a lot of people that have flipped flipped their side-by-sides and launched them and yeah there's you know i mean if they're fans of, of the channels here then they've seen they've seen all kinds of stuff for sure of the of the sand dunes and the rocks we got kendall rolling through here this again is towards the end of this trail so they are almost at the top they're right near the chute oh, oh there's another whoa, whoa, whoa. G5. he's picking an interesting line coming up through there there it settled down again Kendall, Kendall Gray right there, as seen in the banana, he posted a video five days ago where he cooked up a skunk, ate it, and it came out a fluorescent yellow for some reason out of the cooker. Yeah, and uh, their reactions to trying to eat that were quite entertaining as well. <laughs> they said it tasted like skunk pee, but I'm not sure how they would know what skunk pee tastes like. <laughs> That's exactly it for sure. He's a he's an interesting character. Looks like he's got Sean of Bikes and Beards riding with him too, so that's cool. There he is, Kendall Gray. Kendall on YouTube. I've got him here. Kendall has 2.9 million subs. That is a Kentucky boy right there. And you know, Kendall, he's all about hunting, fishing. He is one of the true rednecks that we're going to be seeing 
here on YouTube, and people really love that guy. Oh, yeah. In fact, when I asked him if he had any off-road experience, he's like, oh, well, only once. He's just like, I took my side-by-side -side off a ledge accidentally and flopped and rolled it. <laughs> <laughs> Out on a hunting lease. Here's Scott. This is Driver61 on YouTube, and he is our only Brit in the contest. Yeah, in fact, he wasn't here. If, if you saw the beginning when they were doing the bios of the teams, uh, Nate was taking a picture by himself because he was still trying to fly over the pond. And I wonder if he was having the same problems that Weston Champlin had yesterday. Uh, Weston almost didn't make it out for yesterday's event because his Boeing flight door was not working. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not making any comments about Boeing, but there's been some issues there. So I'm, I'm excited to see West, Weston's video on that whole debacle. He was, at, he was stuck in that plane. They didn't take off till about 2 a.m., so he barely made it here yesterday in time. So in the live chat, who do you guys think did the best today? Who do you think was the best driver? And then who do you think was the craziest driver? I'm curious to see what you guys think down here in the chat. I think you've got to throw, I think Legal Eagle stole the show. Uh, That's got to be number one, I think. Legal Eagle, matched with Jonah, they stole the show for me, I think, today. you got to put them in the final. For definitely the wildest, uh, absolutely. I mean, he was putting it down. All right, so we're here at the shoot right now. Again, how steep it is just to even have someone attempt to walk up it. What do you guys, how do you think it went today? How could it be but we're going to be seeing that when you're watching from the angles, it looks like it's a walk in the park to get these to get these rigs up the up the shoot. Yeah, and it looks like we're getting a bunch so of people in here talking about Lauren Roy. Let these drivers through. Drivers, get your vehicles. We're uh, uh, I know that other people can't see the scoreboard, but I'm informed that we're we're safely in front. Uh, awesome. I gotta say, like, so Rudy beat Bill a really serious team. Like, it just walks up everything, and he's got three-wheel drive. Like, there's only one wheel on the front spinning at any time, so I'd have to agree with that uh, score. Yeah. We gotta get you down to Okay. Patrick, are you good? I, I, was, I was gonna ride up with, with a legal eagle and tangerine okay. up the chute. Okay, I want you two to go behind the chute. You're gonna be wrecked. Get, get over them. All right, so we have had comments. Don Harris says the best driver out there has been Lara. Yeah, she, they've been just walking through everything. But the wildest, Legal Eagle. Absolutely. I, I would agree with that. I did see a comment. Putting a thing. We're always live. We're always live. Lara. We're always rolling. All right. How do you cool. think you did? Hello, audience at home. I am sad you're not here. You are missing out on the show of a lifetime here. Here with Sean from Bikes and Beards and... Uh, what do you think we did? I think you did. Uh, I think I did pretty good. I tried to... Uh, you know, I tried not to show it, but there's a few times I got a little sweaty in the armpit region. Uh, but we pulled it out to the top. We crested over that last obstacle and I thought, oh, we did stop already? It kind of went by fast. I'm kind of sad it's over. Didn't well, it's yet. not over. We got I one final thing. I faster than yesterday, did Definitely. When you're not, uh... Well, I was walking the whole thing yesterday, so I feel like it was kind of a long, slow day. But driving, way better to drive over those obstacles and walk over them. Well, you did a great job. You too. For a girl. You already found it. It's done. It's over. Ready for this. Like I said last year, I rode up this shoe in uh, Colby's Forerunner. So we're going to do it again today and we're going to save it.
try to get you a good shot of this. I'm definitely going to try to not kill myself. So, end, end of statement. So if he tries not to kill himself, then I'm probably going to be pretty good because I'm right next to him. So, you know, hopefully the protection is like an umbrella and it I'm goes gonna, right over I'm here. roll clockwise. Okay. So he's going to roll to my side so that he ends up in the air and I end up on the rocks. <laughs> You're going to be my buffer. Okay. He's got this. He's got this. We, we, we got a system here and I think it's working out so far. He's got this. I think, I think we got it. Marvin has taught me well. Marvin's a great teacher. Oh yeah, it's not in gear. That's important. I, I do think I did the last obstacle with a parking brake on. <laughs> Is that what that smell was? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> that sound and that smell was oh, yeah. the parking brake. I had to make it a little harder. Yeah, well, that's just because you've been crushing it, so you wanted to give yourself a challenge. That's amazing. See, this, this, this guy just won't let it This, this is, is Seth, Burn yep, Peak. Yep, this is Burn Peak, Seth and Rudy. And like I said at the beginning of this, that bike that they carried all the way to the top, Seth is going to go turn around at the end of this and ride his bike all the way back down the trail uh, 
that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, the people that are there are going to really get to enjoy that for sure. Yeah, that's not going to be easy to ride a bike down this, but we're going to also have that on our stream, I imagine, right, Colt? I, I don't know if they'll be able to catch him or not. He's he's such a good rider. He's fast. So that'd have to be may, maybe Colby. You know, maybe he can run that fast. We'll find out. Maybe we can get drone footage. <laughs> we may but, have to might be just hit have from to the do drone. a drone shot of that when he goes and rides it down. All right, so Seth, a burn peak. Now, this is uh, because this shoot does have a high risk to reward feature on it. This is one of those things that no off non off road YouTuber was required to do. So they don't have to drive up this if they don't want to, and even the drivers themselves, the off-roaders, are allowed to drive it if they'd like, um, you know, drive their own rig up this also as well. You know, Seth from Burn Peak, formerly his page was Seth's Bike Hacks, and he's now moved out to North Carolina where he's changed his channel's name to Burn Peak. Here we go. Walk in the park. Rolled right through it. Yeah, this really is about the grand finale. Oh, it's extremely steep. And, and like we were talking about, until you see it, you've never been there. And here's Rory doing his signature move, just like he did with Trail Mater. Uh, that's why he named it that, is because he is not afraid to do things backwards. And so he is going to drive Lara up this thing backwards. in a pink unicorn helmet. If we can get a replay of <laughs> Laura's face about five seconds ago, <laughs> she did not look like she's feeling good about this. Well, like I said uh, a couple days ago, Rory's like, let me show you how stable this rig is and then rolled it. So I'm sure he gave her plenty of confidence <laughs> that everything's just gonna be fine. Okay, they're going up backwards, and here in a second, we're going to be ready with the replay. Is backwards, it looks easier. I would disagree, 100%. But they are just creeping right on up it. Laura's feeling good about it. Oh, yeah, look at that. She is stoked. She is stoked. The crowd is stoked. Look at all the people there, man. There is just people everywhere. just heard something. I heard some crowd noise. Got a great view of the back of Colin's head there, this luscious locks. <laughs> now I wonder how many times, you know, when I, when I took you up here in the S10, what were your thoughts when we rolled around the corner and you were able to see this this wall how big the shoot really is in real life yeah a lot of words came out that i can't say here on this stream but uh you know and here's a replay of lara going on up but again it it looks steep but once you're on it and you're facing straight up into the sun you can't believe that that an automobile is even making it up literally a 90 degree angle yeah it's a it's definitely a different feeling I can't imagine what it was looking like going up that backwards because you're just probably staring at straight dirt. Who here on, you know, on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app or the YouTube chat, who's the adrenaline junkie that this looks like so fun, you want to go out and do this? Okay, is Rudy going to be riding a bike down the chute? Whoa, Seth's going to let Rudy ride his bike? No. Is he really going to try that in that... In that prison jumpsuit <laughs> he's making a run for it that that will be entertaining <laughs> and maybe painful <laughs> let's see they're talking to him over there so yeah. he may be going down i guess Seth. i guess Seth's returning the favor is what's happening here so he said hey you trusted me with your Jeep on this trail, I'm gonna trust you with my very expensive mountain bike going down this. And Rudy jumped all over that because Rudy's a little bit crazy too. 
Yeah, with no helmet too makes me a little nervous. 7-10 RC. Is Seth going for it? I think Seth's going for it. Seth is going to drive down the chute in a mountain bike. And like we said, I mean, this is just shy. This is... Uh, I'm curious how he's gonna how he's gonna handle the bottom because the bottom you're going off from hard rock to extremely loose soft sand. Uh, to me, that doesn't seem like a good combination to just catch my tire and suck it. Yeah, you know. Get your likes in right now if you're enjoying this stream. Here we go. Here he goes. Firm Peak Seth running down the chute. Oh! And handled it oh, like a wow. champ with a big fat grin on his face. I thought he was going sideways for a second. Now, if you guys want to vote for them, you've got to make sure you get on the Matt's Off Recovery app. Get on there. That is, it's free to download, and you get the whole list of who you can vote for and vote for them because I have no idea what their plans are for tomorrow. And there's only five teams between yesterday and today that are getting together. Get to be on this tomorrow. Yeah, have you ever ridden a bike straight down a wall before? Because Seth just did it. Okay, here's Kendall. Yeah, Kendall's, Kendall's got that skunk juice going strong. <laughs> He's ready to climb this mountain. How does Kendall not have his own line of cologne called skunk juice? 60% <laughs> of the time it works every time. Yeah. <laughs> that smells like straight gasoline. <laughs> Skunk Panther. We'll call yeah. <laughs> here we go. No problem for the banana, right? Oh, but see here, you can see, tell how straight up this is. There it was. Tires barking, skipping. You know, that's that's the difference. You can actually see a little bit of that that struggle that you get in real life. You know, and, and the banana, the wheelbase is obviously a lot shorter than these other rigs too, which is going to make it even steeper on your on your car. Rudy is out on the bonus lines, so that's the bonus obstacle after the shoot, climbing up. Uh, this is a this is deceivingly tough. If you don't know the line, uh, I've seen a lot of buggies, like legit buggies, struggle up here. Hey, Rudy. Looks like we got a little noise from Nate's rig running up. Nate uh, has kicked driver uh, driver 61 out, and he is driving himself up there. So he did not trust, he did not trust Scott, the Formula One driver, to go up there. Wow. <laughs> it looks like Robbie jumped in with him. I didn't think of, of all the drivers not going up it, I didn't think the Formula One driver, the person with maybe the most dangerous job out of anyone here, is the one to not drive up the chute. Okay, is Rudy gonna be able to make this climb? What do you guys think? Let us know down below. Do you think Rudy is gonna get this, uh, this next shot? Or how many tries do you think it's gonna take? He's got his tires in the right spot this time. This is where you want your tires. He needs to get a little more passenger Oh, there he goes. He's walking it. There it is. Now, this is where you got to just give it a little bit of Moab bump. Oh, he might be a little late on it, but he's pulled he's through. Got it. Walked it. Yep, there you go. Good job, Rudy, in your prison jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, a Moab bump sounds like that's something that could land you in jail for a few years. <laughs> well, it's uh, it was a term made by the old timers back in Moab because you'd get on the rock and it would just your tires would spin. Obviously, tire compounds have gotten better and better over the years. So what you had to do is back up a little bit and then just give it a little Moab bump. You just had to kind of roll through it and you pop right up over the rock. All the stuff I've been learning from Colt over the past few days, I'll be taking with me for the rest of my life. See, now Nate is trying to warm up his tires, I believe, because he didn't even have his rear locker until just now. Yeah, shout out to video production right here. We're getting so many comments coming in. 
to all our camera guys out there, our drone operators, our producers, everybody that's been making this happen. Sending this right to your, your living room or your workplace for free here on the mobile app as well as uh, as well here on YouTube. So where, where Nate's struggling here is he needs to get more passenger. Like I said, this is a, this obstacle is deceiving and it is a lot about the right line. And it's literally about two inches. It's like a two inch, you move your tire over two inches, you're gonna make it. And you're two inches too far right, or two inches too far left, and you will not make this line. It's, it's a crazy obstacle to be that way, but that's exactly how it is. I don't know if he's going to make it here. Yeah, huge shout out definitely to the camera crews, to the people in the behind the scenes. Remember, this is live and this is in high wind situations. This is remote. I mean, they're taking video footage and shooting it across. We are sitting, you know, 15, 20 miles away from this from this event right now, not complaining, but we, we are literally quite a ways away from this event as we're giving you guys this play-by-play -play on what's happening. Yeah, this is just unbelievable, unprecedented that mass off-road recovery able to put on a production like this for so many people you know and to be doing it thursday friday and saturday and today leaps and bounds better than yesterday you know this is the, our first time doing this and it is just today is just so much better tomorrow is just going to be again just unbelievable so as today's live stream ends I want to remind you guys to go on to the Matt's Off-Road Recovery app. So this live stream will continue on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery app. And you'll get to go down, see everybody down in the down in the vendor area. We're all going to be down there. I'm going to be down there myself. And then they're going to go on to the record poll. So you got to download the app. It's free to download. And you can continue watching everything that's happening. It's going to be a lot more in-depth live stream just hanging out with people you know just straight camera to the face action and that is what you're going to see on the app so make sure you download the app and you can also get on there and vote for who you think needs to finish tomorrow and again another way to support people who you enjoy their work if you enjoy the work of you know matt's off-road recovery you enjoy lara farms you know it's free to support you can send out likes, you can follow, you can tell your friends, you can tag people and just interacting that right there. So we're going to, we're about wrapped up here. And so yeah, definitely liking and subscribing to our channels. That helps a lot. We really do appreciate that hitting that little bell and making sure that you just enjoy everything we do. Uh, we really appreciate you guys hanging out with us today. We hope to see you on the app after this uh, for the rest of the night and we will look forward to seeing who you vote for and we will see you guys tomorrow again so we're gonna have here in a second we'll pop up how you can vote for people on the mats off the mats off-road recovery mobile app so we'll pop that up here in just a second and that's just gonna be on the app and again thank you for being here and my partner colt his new channel just started two weeks ago colt builds it give him a follow and you're gonna you're gonna be seeing things where Colt is gonna be building things, but not just not just building. It's you're gonna be showing a lot of your life as well. Yeah, yeah, it'll definitely be a little bit of everything. But yeah, we appreciate you guys hanging out with us. We hope to see you tomorrow. Make sure you get on the app and vote. Okay, so make sure though. I think we're the we're still gonna be having the stream on the Matt's Off Road Recovery mobile app. Correct. Right. So this is gonna be ending here on YouTube. So download the app. It's completely free. And we'll see you guys tomorrow if you actually need to get some work done now. You can't be, can't be paid to just be watching the off-road games all day. But we still have footage going on all day today, some behind-the-scenes stuff that is on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app. But uh, until then, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thanks for watching.
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>